the sands of Assyria. Treasure seekers could find a lifetime of wealth in these never-ending dooms. But what makes Assyrian so wondrous, you ask? Come, let me show you. The towering obelisks, the people, the culture, and the legacy of Pharaohs. But there is a darkness as well. The dead do not sleep. Dark sorcery runs through our history like blood through our veins. Will we survive the trials ahead as we seek the legendary mask of the forgotten Pharaoh? Hard to say? Let's find out. We're live. All right. Well, thank you to everyone for joining us. This is Geeks and Gamers Tabletop. However, we're going to deviate and we're going to uh, we're going to challenge everyone to learn a new system, and we're going to have an amazing amount of pulp adventure exploring uh, ancient tombs in the lost lands of Osirion. So first up, we have Sevi playing Natalia. Did oh, wait, they up? can't see they can't see your screen, so it's just us. But well, I, 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 I showed players. The picture. They should wait, be able what? to see they should be able to see the, the suede G and G suede, right? Oh well, that's not up yet. That's not up yet, but I can uh I can so that bitch. It's, not, it's just on our faces currently. It's just on our faces, but I will move it over <laughs> if I uh, got something. Uh actually yeah, it's yeah, not showing up on G and G suede anyways. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Brian, for you one hundred. Oh. I'm looking at it. It's not popping up. Phalaxer needs to no. suffer. <laughs> I agree. Hey, there it goes. All right, let me there switch. There we go. I got to change that to, uh, to Observer for everyone. All right, so there's Sev with Natalia, our Inquisitor. Next up, we have Arudai playing... Falister, which I don't think that popped up Falister, did it? It did no. not pop up Falister. What an unfortunate choice of words. <laughs> <laughs> There's Falister. Make the Falister. There's Falister. There's Falister. It's Falister. Not Falister. Falister. Wingardium Leviosa. Falister. Falister. I'm going to call you Fally. Yeah. Ooh. I like that. I don't know if I. Uh, Whichever. Uh, following that is Noel playing Midge the Bard. Fuck. <laughs> She's so happy and innocent. I can't wait to kill her. <laughs> Jeez. Three foot of nothing will get crushed beneath the weight of the earth and the unknown doom of the dark. And last but not least, I'm a, uh, ley lines, Caleb. However, the, the man has a thousand names because he's a rock star playing Raycona, the wizard. Hello. It was a pleasure to meet everyone. Now, for those at home, 
Our tale will begin in a moment. But first, let's catch up with our heroes. As you carefully wade through the darkness, the sand drifts from the stone overhead as you realize that the enormity of the weight of the earth above you is just trying to compress upon you. Midge, while the sand beneath your feet is a nuisance for the rest of your party members, at your height, it becomes, well, it becomes more of a hindrance. Not to mention you have gigantic stone blocks that look like they've been thrown here by giants from the lands of the Linorm Kings. And the darkness is oppressive, Midge. Incredibly oppressive. But not for two of you. For two of you, this is simply just a, another moment in search of the things that drive their motivations the most. But that's not really where the story starts. Well, the story really starts is Midge. As you're sitting through the sands and you start to try to pull yourself together as the darkness crushes in around you and you start to feel your heart race. For a brief moment, Minge, the sand begins to shift around you. That you swear to. It's almost as if something is watching you from the darkness. But let's pull back even further. When you were first brought together as a band, before you ended up in this hellscape of a desert wasteland, deep beneath the earth, you were contracted by a mysterious employer, working through numerous agents, numerous cutouts, and known only to you four under the name of Al Janul. Al Janul set you forth to the tomb of the Barrow Witch. It just happened to be set in the snowy mountains of an old receding glacier in the barrier wall, just west and south of Osirion. Natalia, during the adventures that took place during that test for the tomb of the Barrow Witch, what was the hardest obstacle your team faced during this time? Like our team here, well, to be honest. Your team here? Well, to be honest, we had somebody that was crying all the time because it was overwhelmingly dense and she couldn't figure it out even though she kept saying she could fight whatever was in front of her. So that was a little bit frustrating. Also, the fact that the uh, dumb devil or demon <laughs> just couldn't even figure out how to do his job correctly so i had to basically do it for him that i i think he's more of a baby that should be probably still stuck with his mom's strengths and i i don't really know why he's even like being helpful to the party so um i i i, I do think though that also uh, Part of what was hard was the fact that um, these like stupid enemies just couldn't figure out when to lay low, when to <laughs> drop their swords. I mean, obviously, the uh, god of wood decided that they should all die, and I was just trying to serve their hearts on the platter. I don't know what was so wrong about it. Harsh words by the Inquisitor, but. Always honest and always brutal and to the point. It sounds like she's saying oh. that everything <laughs> is our fault. I don't like that. I'm just, I'm just, I am kidding. judging. I'm judging you. <laughs> what do you mean I'm saying like like this is oh, oh, this is not my fault. Seriously, this is not do you want to get slapped again? What, you're just being honest with the assessment of wow. your fellow teammates. And to be fair, at the time, you were all new together. You didn't really know one another. So you're, while, while you're harsh, I will say it, it was at least honest. Raycona, what was the most heart-clenching moment while exploring that frozen tomb? Uh, for me, it was probably the fact that uh, 
Natalia had nothing bad to say about me. So that really touched my heart, <laughs> luckily. Um, although watching her get battered by a couple of gnolls was, uh, you know, I could probably go without. But um, almost stepping on that trap and taking off my legs, whew, luckily we had the phallus man to bail us out. <laughs> phallus. Phallister. <laughs> Speaking of Felister, Felister, what was the fortuitous discovery that helped your team along? Obviously, it was that I am the best. If it were not for me, he would have lost his legs on that tramp. And certainly, we would not have disabled the door that we had to get through to get to the artifact we were seeking. Ah, it was very clear, I am the MVP. And you are welcome, by the way. <laughs> With a flourish. And Midge, what did the team have to endure, in your opinion, that was the most difficult thing to endure while you had to find the tomb and excavate it? My God, it had to have been Natalia's endless droning on about ripping out the hearts of those gnomes. And only which she couldn't have done without my expert playing, aiding her, and really saving her, her hide there. I mean, obviously, it, this was all on me. Success what? on my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> my, I killed, I killed basically everybody. Yeah, and I have, like, I didn't just help, like, I confused them. You couldn't have done it if I didn't confuse them. And then you droned on and on and on about it, about ripping out their hearts. <laughs> it was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. If only you would have been part of the, uh, uh, you know, of the offering to the God of Mookie. You might see how beautiful it is. Fantastic. And succeed you did beyond all the expectations of Al Junal, as you were told. And then Al Junal informed you that there was another task, but this task would be far more dangerous, but the riches, the wealth of knowledge, the honor would outweigh anything you've ever done. And all you had to do was enter into a contest to win the lottery in order to dig in the ruins of Wati, the half dead city and enter you did. Now, for those watching, this is a surprise for the cast, and this is a surprise for everyone else. Normally, when we do interludes, we can do Benny's, but I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to go one up, and the cast gets to use the one thing in Savage Worlds that can change everything in a flash, and that is the adventure deck. I'm going to deal you each a card for your outstanding backstory in recalling the tomb. Feel free to use it. You can use this card anytime you want. You can use the card for someone else. Uh, if the card makes no sense for you, that is what it is. We'll be redrawing every session. Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. Brian donated $100 to kill uh, <laughs> Um How would that then work in terms of the rest <laughs> of the party? To kill Fal Falista? Well, Falista. first off, he did not say kill. He said suffer. Second off, we do have a system for this. Uh, would you <laughs> like to explain it, Scott, or shall I? Uh, go ahead, please. Perfect. I want to hear the accent, though. <laughs> uh, those out there who would like to contribute to our journey and make this uh, a profitable venture, you could do so by spending $20 to give any one of us in this party, or the guy upstairs, a Benny. However, if you're feeling particularly generous, and maybe perhaps we're wounded, about to die, something like that, you could spend a hundred dollars to give us all one wound point back and give everyone a Benny. It's called a miracle. <laughs> and we are going to need them quite badly. You'll be funny, fine. Funny the demon talk, or the devil. Are you a demon or a devil? He's a devil. devil. Hey, I'm a tiefling and I have miracles. devil blood. <laughs> funny the devil talks about miracles. I'll miracle you, like your head as I like, slap you with sword. Do the evil gods not have miracles as well, Inquisitor? 
they're not worth it. Now the question for the for the question for the team across the top of the control bar uh, where you have your uh, combat encounter your actors you'll have one that says card stacks each of you should be able to see a adventure hand can you see that yes perfect if you click that it will allow you to see what your card is read it if you have any questions it'll come up naturally um, when I tell you the cards will change the fate of how the system goes, this is these cards will turn this into the true pulp mummy adventure that it should be. How do we know which one is ours? Like I see G and G suede, well, G, &G tabletop, quick chase. This is how Sunny like loses Benny's. <laughs> I'm asking a real question. It's not my fault. This like Sevy, it makes no sense. Sevy, do you see when it says Sev's adventure hand? No. I do. <laughs> what? I don't. Hmm, but you're the owner. <laughs> it's under the card. At the top, there's a card. Mm -hmm. Little card stack next to the little music box button. Mine oh, is blank. I see it. Oh, yeah, mine is blank, too. <laughs> so fair. I have a card. I don't know. If, it's, um, one. if it's blank, yeah, it's maybe because, try rolling over it. Because it, it, went, because it went to G&G Suede. Jandy Tabletop. It, it went to Leyline. Hold on. Maybe don't read all the names out. Calm, there. yeah. <laughs> it, it's all the names. And let's see. Here you go, Sev. Let's try this. Yes, I see it. Fantastic. There you go. Noel. Wow. Now sexism and card dealing. There you go. It is sexism and card dealing. I deliberately skipped the girls. That's just too bad. <laughs> And I did want to say thank you to Brian for the $100 uh, miracle, and thank you to Hayden for the 20 Geese and Gamers tabletop memberships. That is a phenomenal amount. Thank you so much, Hayden. That is madness, but that is outstanding. All right. So, with that, <clears throat> let's talk about a moment. where we are. I'm going to pull you guys into... The inner sea. This is Golarion. If you go to a little bit to the south, across the inner sea, to Osirion, that's the land that awaits us. Further, this is the old cartography of Osirion, the land of pharaohs. Desolate and ancient and extremely dangerous. But on top of all of that, all of this truly starts in Wati. It is early morning and a crowd has gathered around the grand temple of the priests of Phrasma. And when I say crowd, there are thousands here. There are weremongers of all types. There are other adventuring parties. Everyone is crowding the steps and awaiting the lottery to begin. After just a slight delay, there's a handful of priests of Phrasma who step forward bearing massive urns that are placed upon a table. There is a single priestess who steps forward between her priesthood. Friends and allies, let the lottery begin. This day, the Lady of Grace, the Lady of Graves, she is blessed upon all that she sees. You are given access to the necropolis to the half-dead city. You will, must remember three things. You are to honor that which has passed. Every slave's hut is a memorial, and you must honor the departed. She nods to her priests. One priest steps forward. And he draws a cartouche, and he reads the name aloud. 
Ferang Sahara. And Al Janul had told you, you also are under this name. And that is the cartouche of Ferang Sahara. For the two of you who speak Osirian, specifically ancient Osirian, your name means the desert mice. <laughs> You've got to be joking. <laughs> I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you're used to being described as small. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> That's so true. With a second draw from the second urn, another cartouche is pulled forward. And it is read aloud and displayed before you. Achmanapati Achintepi. The tomb of Achintepi belongs to your team. Who steps forward to accept the cartouche? The champion should step forward. Oh, take a Benny. <laughs> True arrogance. <laughs> You are handed the cartouche of the tomb of Akintepi. The female priestess, she looks to you. You shall be accompanied by one of my priests. You will obey everything the priest says. Is this understood? Yes. You are not to dwell in the necropolis beyond dusk. You must be in. You must excavate what you can of the tomb. And you must be back here before the Grand Temple, before nightfall. Is that clear? Yes. You may depart. I will give her a nod and then turn around and then go towards the party and tell the party we have a priest that is coming with us and we need to get going because we need to come back before night. Well, this should be easy enough. Yeah. Hmm. I do believe this will be a fine task to take on. The priest who accompanies you is a young half-elf, and she hands you, Natalia, a rolled-up piece of papyrus. My lady, this is a map that will help guide us to the tomb of Akintepi. Uh, you should give that to me. She cannot read. No, of course not. How am I supposed <laughs> to trust the devil? No. So you should keep... give it. Take you should give it to me. You keep, don't trust no. him. Keep talking, and we'll see what type of pain you get into in a couple of minutes from now. Oh, for the love of God! I Let's think that we uh, leave where? the map with her. Your time is dwindling. Let's go. The necropolis goes dangerous at night. Yeah, and we are not staying one second past dusk. Yeah. So <laughs> Why not, <laughs> Mitch? <laughs> Natalia will start walking towards the necropolis, looking at the map. It is simple enough to navigate, and within about 30 minutes or so, you have navigated uh, a decent way into the necropolis. You pass through the Gate of the Dead, and... You're into what remains of the other half of Wati. Bard, do you know what happened to Wati and why only half the city is dead? I believe... I could make a check. Hey, do I need to make a knowledge check on this? Or if I know, can I say? Yeah, if you know, you can say it. Why only half the city is dead? Mm -hmm. Didn't something crash into it? No, let's, that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> let, let's have it academic. That hasn't happened yet. Let's have academics rolls. Can I also <laughs> roll one of these academic? Hundred percent. I may play a smart guy on TV, but I am not in real life. Do I just click my dice? Just click your uh, the skill name, and it'll fly over to the little window, and then just hit roll. Just no penalties, no nothing. Ray Kona, that's a success. If you're happy with a simple success, 
You know what? I'll spend a Benny. Why not? There we go. First GM Benny. Thank you. That was my bet. I accidentally gave myself a Benny. You did give yourself a Benny. <laughs> oh, don't we start with an extra one? You. For yes. the boom, boom, character boom. creation tree. I gotcha. Boom. Ray Kona, go ahead and hit the reroll button. Midge, are you happy with a simple success of four? Ah. Uh, no, I'll spend a penny. Raycona, success again. That'll give I'll you information. It. You'll leave it? <laughs> so I can reroll. Yep, yep. Ah. Oh. Frederick gave Sevi a penny. Benny of Sevius so, is going to collect Benny's. Frederick, and I have no idea what Nozaku boy is uh, hoping for here, but he said punish Natalia. That <laughs> sent him out for a Benny, so I guess give one to Scott would make sense. There's going to be a lot of pain coming up. One for the GM? Mm -hmm. Okay. So for the wizard and the bard, as you're, the, the priest, she's, she's kind of rambling on and talking about the architecture and some of the history of this place. Um, for both of you, do you recall that there was a magical plague that struck Wati. And the priesthood of Farazma, they're the ones who stopped it. And now that kind of puts them in charge of everything here. The Pharaoh is very happy with the arrangement of the priesthood controlling access and trade and wealth and goods flowing all throughout Osirion because of what happens here. Eventually, you do find what you're looking for. This place was previously plagued, so I suggest we all put our masks up. <laughs> this is a rectangular stone structure bearing two doors to either side of the entrance area. On the front, there are various hieroglyphics that cover top to bottom, left to right. And those are all in ancient Osirian. Ah, oh, I can read that. What does it you say? Can. Let's have a smarts roll. You can read. I, uh, I can read. It's the comprehension part that sometimes gets me. Yeah, yeah hang now, on. Ancient Osirian is a little tricky. Well, that time... I'll roll smarts. I'm you mid smart. Wanna, Is it just straight smarts? Wanna. Just straight smarts. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well. Midge. Yep, mid smart. Mid smart. <laughs> Midge. Midge, I need you to turn that critical failure, which you may not Benny out of. Oh, Midge. So. Wow. Felister, uh, <laughs> you can read this. Uh, you do. You can make out. Well, that's obviously that's going to be Akintepi. Um, there's some kind of hawk person. Um, yeah, there's what the war would be. I understand. Yeah, yeah. We, we know where we are. There's Sam piled up. Um, and behind you, Midge. Midge is doing the, the most annoying <laughs> thing that someone who's smarter than you always fucking does. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. And you know, everyone's looking back, and Midge is just looking around. But <clears throat> now, <clears throat> so can I tell that she really doesn't know what this says? You have no idea, but but she's a bard. I mean, she's it's, it's a it's a, it's a story. It's um, there's a guy wings. Uh, yes, yeah, yes, it's very um, clear. It's a uh, Midge. Yup, mm hmm and... It says, very uh, specifically, the one who will win the lottery is the handsome white devil of Wati. He's prophesized, <laughs> clearly. I cannot read oh this, God. and even I know that's wrong. All right, do we, I mean, is this even important? Doesn't, doesn't sound like you guys are reading anything important. I think we're going. That's the spirit. I, I... Now, Natalia, here's one problem. We'll, we'll just call you Natty for short. Here's a problem, Natty. There's a bit of sand uh, here. You're gonna have to dig yourselves into this place a little bit. You gotta clear the sand from the door. 
Um, and because it's 125 degrees in the shade in Osirion, I'm going to need vigor rolls from every single one of you that okay. is helping dig out. I hand Natalia my <laughs> shovel. There you go. I believe in you. You can do this. You are the best among us. Hey, clearly the strongest. I'm going to uh, park it over in the shade. <laughs> I oh, believe that your God starts. will bless you. Oh. I'm, so, I'm, so what is... I'm surprised the bard has recognized that I am the strongest and the best, considering she's almighty. I'm glad to see you finally came to your senses. Falister, oh, I think you should give Midge a uh, shovel. I, I believe these two should uh, duke it out for who can get through the center the fastest. Oh my no, god. No, the devil is shoveling. Midge, to be <laughs> fair, you are closer to the ground and have better leverage. This is true. That's not how that works. That's not... <laughs> uh, uh, how, how? I'm not built like a wall. <laughs> attractive, would you say, the half-elf priestess? <clears throat> uh, without the 80 layers of, like, a full ninja garb going on to, you know, say that she's a priest, uh, probably moderately. At least she's got some modesty going on, like all priests of Phrasma would. Oh, well, that is modestly appealing. <laughs> uh, very well. I will make a, uh, I will help with the shoveling. And I want to make I... a show of helping with the shoveling, but not really be putting any effort. I'm tracking. Uh... Perfect. And I, I'll, 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 as I'm going to, to shovel, I'll make sure to kick the, the devil into the sand and tell him to dig faster. I will sort of sit back. Is that a contested check? Can I dodge all the way of that? Sure. Yeah, just make an athletics roll. And then, Sev, I need the vigor roll, please. I'll sit back reading a book. From Brian. Work smarter. Oh. Oh, I'm going to re-roll that. Just click the little Benny button, and it'll spin the Benny and roll it for you. Yes. There we go. that. There's a success. And Falister. With that athletics. Uh, oh, I gotta actually click the roll, right? Uh, you see. gotta click the roll. There we go, Midge. Okay. We are living the good life. But I got a seven, and you got a four. So clearly... you did. So your seven is to make sure you don't suffer a tiny bit of heat stroke because you're doing all the work, and you realize it, and so you're shoveling shit at him. Uh, and it's Felister, and he easily is just stepping aside, and you know. Sometimes pretending like, oh my god, I've, I've been, I've been gotten dirty. Oh no, I'm working really hard, hard over here. Why do you want to make it hard? It's taking a while, guys. Come on. They have and taken a very long helping. time. A very guys, long time. Maybe. You guys better help before it's night. What do you oh, say, you heard Rona? Rona? You better help both. before it's night. The doors are cleared. <sighs> and I'll join. You may easily open them. Just let me know if you want the left one open or the right one open, and then I'll start dropping tokens. All right, devil, go open. Well, I say left. I say left as well. Left it is. Let me pull the heroes in. Uh, let's see. Who's opening the door? The devil. The devil. Wait, what am I doing? You're opening the door in case there's a trap. The left door. It's the entrance. Why would there be a trap? Mm, whatever. Has I'll go take a look. Uh, let me inspect this door and see if there's any bobs or whistles or anything that might be suspicious. This is just doing it to me again. I'll stand at least ten feet back. All right. Uh, so I need to give you a what? Ah, uh, nothing. The door is open, and you can see inside. The sunlight spills in. And it goes in for about 15 feet back and about 20 feet wide. And it ends in some kind of wall. And there appears to be statues inside of this place. There, you see? No traps. Okay. So the sun shines into this room, right? Yes. Okay. Well, it looks, looks all right. All right. Let's get going. Night's a cracking. <laughs> I'll wait for the bard and the devil to walk in. 
person. I walk in slightly behind Alistair. I'll take up the rear. Very well. I will take the lead once again. <laughs> Easy enough. There we go. The tokens are appropriately put forward. Bravely in the back. Uh, Miss <clears throat> Priest, uh, what did you say your name was? Let me put the... My name is Akputepi. Akputepi. Beautiful name. Do you mind if I call you Tepi for short? You may call me whatever you like. The sun, he sits. I shall ah. wait here. For a moment, I thought you wanted me to call you the sun. <laughs> Which would be perfect. You have certainly blinded me with your beauty. Take you mentioned that earlier oh, that oh, uh, when it gets dark, oh, it gets dangerous. I was curious. What did you mean by that? Hafitan ala wahmati ala ahula. In your language, the ghouls, they walk. The dead rises. Yeah, Aku. Uh, what do you mean by, by ghouls exactly? Ghouls. You are you are familiar with the creatures. My ghouls. They eat the, the <laughs> al, 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 al They eat the flesh, devour. Legends in Obsidian but, but, say that when the ghoul devours a a living creature, they take on their memories, and that is how they deceive others. But only at night. So really? we're like we're all good, right? Yes, only at night. Well, well, we, we appreciate your <laughs> wise counsel. Uh, we will be back soon, and just between you and me, and I want to say this quietly so nobody else can hear me, mm -hmm. I'm going to lean in and be like, the ghouls aren't the only thing that's dangerous at night, if you're interested. <laughs> I will be in the inn, if you understand what I am saying. I am picking up what you're laying down. I will see you there. <laughs> I will bring my finest Calistria and it. Ugh. Calistria. Well, uh, she was telling me we should proceed ahead before the sun goes down. Well, my fate is salam. Bless you. And inside, a great name to you as well. <laughs> inside this room, there are indeed four statues in the corners. Uh, two male, two female, and across this southern wall is a massive wheel uh, that is solid, almost as if it's a, a, a door that's been rounded, but it's a stone block put in place. And painted on it is a giant blue circular symbol that is far too common to require any kind of check. That is the holy symbol of Pharasma. And this is Theater of the Mind, or is there supposed to be a map right now? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to pull you guys over. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there we are. There we are. Oh, it's very dark. <laughs> I thought you said there was sun. <laughs> there is sun in here, and I don't know why it's not shining through. <laughs> but I'll, like do this. I'll do this for you. Ooh. How is that? I see Perfect. a little bit. Yeah, you should only see the room, and that's it. And a few of you have your, your vision going anyway, so there we go. So, yes. And there are hieroglyphs adorning uh, the walls to the west and the walls to the east. Devil man, hmm. what do your devilish eyes see? <laughs> Why do you always ask him? <laughs> yes, I agree. Someone's, the hieroglyphics are closer to the floor. She doesn't have to stoop. <laughs> I have to roll for this, huh? You will have to roll a smarts roll for this. Sorry. Yikes, skis. That is a failure, Mitch. Do you wish to spend a penny and re-roll? As she does. <laughs> now, is this ancient Assyrian? It is ancient Assyrian. Okay. So I wouldn't be able to re-roll. Oh, aced! 
Ooh. There we go. Wow. Midge, <laughs> this is academic at its finest. Very simple. It is a warning that this tomb is in fact trapped uh, against all thieves and all who shall try to defile the tomb of Akintepi. Uh And it also makes mentions of uh, the wrath of the gods in some form or fashion, probably plagues, blisters, the usual thing. Yeah, it's a, yeah. So it's it's a, it's trapped. It's deadly. Uh, smite from the gods. Uh, plagues, boils. You get it. Etc. 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 You know, basic tomb shit. Said he would never <laughs> told you your bedside manner. Could use some work. <laughs> Why don't I don't you ever... look at the statues and see if there's a way to open this? All right, Natalia, let's have a notice roll, please, as you're examining the statues and some of the area around it. Ooh, aced. <clears throat> that is a success with a raise, Natalia. Uh, so, Natalia, as you're exploring one of the statues, you do realize that there is some sand that has... It's... it's, it's blown in there's dirt there's dust but they are covering a set of tracks that run all the way across from east to west and they go right where that stone wheel uh or blockage capstone sits in the wall uh do they start from the entrance or do they start from the staff? they start from here and run all the way across to the east. Okay, I'm gonna then. Oh, I can move my son. I'm oh. gonna look yeah, feel- at um, where, like, I'm gonna look around here to see if there's a button to press. What are you doing? <laughs> I did open trapped. the door. <laughs> oh. You're just going to push Traps. random things on the wall. Are you mad? Yeah, Natalia is okay. just grabbing statues, shaking it, twisting it, touching the, uh, touching the, the, you know, the jackal head of the statue of whatever this thing was supposed to be. She uh, seems like a great explorer. Work. I mean, to be fair, Natalia, this is some horrific heathen nonsense, so. Uh, Just it because open. it's not your god doesn't mean it won't smite you. Well, Maybe let Ballister look for the traps first. Just say, smite Okay, Ballister, go ahead. <laughs> yes, allow me. I will take a look and see if I can figure this out. You now, built this phallus, man. A notice roll, please. Uh, you know, you keep saying my name incorrectly. Uh, I would like to correct you. It is Falister. Falister. It has a uh, Osirian uh, accent to it. Falister. Falis. Falis. Falis, sir. He must just be a cultural thing. Oh, jeez. Just okay. call him Fally. Never Whatever mind. you say, Fally. Fally can then go back. See, you just said that right sound when you said it shorter. <laughs> you. I am on to you. I'm going back over to the wall and I'm going to look around to do a notice check Uh, I need to open my sheet I'd also like to take this time to light up a torch for Midge all right. Here you go. I believe you gave Midge a bullseye lantern. I bullseye do have lantern. it, but it's over encumbering me. <laughs> Would you like to get rid of the bullseye lantern, Midge? Yes, please. Maybe we could trade. You could take the torch instead. I agree, yes. And I want to apologize, my small friend. Because I am the tallest of the group, it sometimes makes it hard for me to notice uh, the shorter among us. But I want this to be a peace offering. I think it's still going to over. <laughs> I don't know if the torch will over encumber you. But... How about I hold it, and you just stay near me? Ah, uh, yes, I will. I will scoot a little closer to Rico now. <laughs> hold up the bullseye lantern. All right. So I have. So Midge, no, no torch, Midge. Oh, Midge, well... you cannot afford any of this. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. Uh, I rolled my notice, but that's not good. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to do a Benny. Okay. I will take your Benny. 
Uh, so I'm going. Uh, that's a success. Uh, what did you roll? I'm updating something real fast. Five. A five. That is a basic success. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna accept that, and uh, I'm gonna blame my earlier failure. I'm going to uh, kind of like wipe off the sand that's blown in, and be like, "I hate sand. It gets everywhere. It's rough. It's coarse. You know, but this this is better. It is gone." What do I see? You also easily make out no traps whatsoever. Um, odd for such a dire warning, but there's no nothing really out of the ordinary there is just simply the set of tracks that run like i said east to west and that stone round block just happens to sit right on top of where the tracks run there is a trap here <laughs> hmm. it appears anyone over six foot tall cannot walk through this hallway or they will die i suppose yeah. just me and mitch well. can go forward Okay, good All right, luck. Well. <laughs> All right, well, take the torch. All right, we... well, I'll wait out here. Yeah, we'll wait out here. Or I could just crouch. I... <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. Uh, come, Mitch, we will take a look. Yeah, and take the torch. <laughs> and go uh, first. Fine, <clears throat> just put it in my tail. <laughs> um... I don't feel comfortable handing this torch into your phallus tail. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I do not well, use oh. my tail for that. Great, great color. Take a Benny. That was, <laughs> that was slightly inappropriate. <laughs> Thank you. Slightly inappropriate. Like I'll it. gently place it in this tail. Oh my god. I'm updating tokens. <laughs> it's okay. I can update them fairly quickly. Fairly quickly. There it's okay, go. Natalia. He believes in Calistria. You will not last very long. I agree with this. True statement. Yes, you are now. You know what? I don't want you to be on fire. I want you <laughs> to have some kind of external halo. There you go. A little bit of a glow around you. <clears throat> Perfect. All right. So the tiefling now has a torch in his phallus tail. And... I really liked the way you put that there. Thank you. <laughs> Ever so gently placed, no Rikona. <laughs> Ever so gently. Ever yeah, so gently slid it in. Good. I, he has to firmly grasp it in his tail. We're off to a great start. Ghouls are going to murder you before we get to the first <laughs> Love it. So, what Boy, are we doing <laughs> for Midge? It's we're on we're on the we're on the cusp of hentai, Egyptian <laughs> hentai. <laughs> Midge I will. Midge What what are we doing? I am going to well, go through the door. Gonna... You're going to open the door. All right. Of course, there's no traps. Of course, there's no traps. And I will tell you this. It's easy enough, right? I will show you the door. I'm going to move you over to the front of it. Right? There you ah! go. Yep. No, oh, that's the door. You scooted. Yes, that's the door. And you you grab a hold of it, and you're like, okay, this is easy. It's just, oh, it's probably just going to, you know. How do you want to open it? Are we pushing it? Are we, what, what, how are you trying to open this for? Uh, where are the hinges? Do the hinges suggest that I would pull it or push it? I have like there. Them. Oh, what? Hit Mitch, say again. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna uh, tell him to push. <laughs> push, push. <laughs> Raycona, is it? I think it's fair to say you're probably the most intelligent person in the party. <laughs> that should well, be apparent smartest. by now. <laughs> yeah, by 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 far. Uh, there's a giant stone wheel that sits on tracks, and you're watching the tiefling mm -hmm. just push with all of his might, and veins are starting to pop out. The tail is starting to quiver, and the torch is just all over the goddamn place. Put your tail into um, it. Come on. And, 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 and the goddamn bard is like, no, push harder. Just push harder. Allow me to show you guys my first magic trick. Please, everyone close your eyes. Finally. I do something close useful. my eyes. <laughs> I give a wink and then I put, I just slide it. <laughs> so I like where you're at. Take a Benny. You you start to you with that little el elven arrogance. You well, you know ah, I got this. God. And you just do the oh shit! This thing weighs a lot. Oh uh, you might need a little bit of help. Yeah, Belly, push it the right way. Oh my God. Uh oh. Natalia. Natalia. Who me? 
Clearly I said you're push. Old. You're pushing it the wrong way. Help her call oh my God. the right way. Fine. You guys I can't do anything right. I'm what? the only one who is capable and blessed by the gods to open this door. I Where the hell did Midge go? Oh, there she is. I Midge need is you. underneath um, him. I can't see any of my companions in this room. I don't know why you can't see your companions. We had this problem once before. I don't understand it. Yeah, and that's why, because I'm a dumb bitch. <laughs> Oh, let me try it again. This is always... So do I have to roll something? I feel like Gary. We can't get door. out of you the just... first room. <laughs> right? You do not have to roll anything. I just need to figure out why he is not able to see people. He's got his basic sight on. He's got basic see? configuration. You mean right Vision. going up? Yeah. We, this because one. he's an elf. No. What do my elven eyes see? Nothing. You got elven eyes to see all your friends. There you go. <laughs> you just ah, see different you, you see in a different color and your friend uh you know that's uh, i that's do not see it. color I, not in the dark you don't you just see <laughs> shades of blue which would be really helpful if you know you're looking for things like you know that are color like traps and shit like that but or i wouldn't just... do that to you because you know why would i purposely put things that you can't see right, I right. everyone slides so natalia you're in there with raycona and you know, Tali steps up. She's used to this. She's, you know, you hear her muttering under her breath, and anyway, like, "Fucking idiots!" Pretty much. Yeah. And then both of you begin to push. Uh, Felista and Midge, what are you two doing? I'm watching. I'm gonna be kind of mocking uh, Natalia, going, "My God, so good!" Can we put it? What are you saying right now? Oh, just wait until I get out of she was saying that your God is great and beautiful and wondrous. But Mitch, we have She's a She's just shy. Oh. Uh-oh. While you are all busy messing around, Midge, you feel something at your boot. Uh, and there yeah, is right. a scorpion that has come up through the sands and it is going for its easiest prey. Midge, that Karma. is, that is, that is a success, Midge, which means I can roll damage. But because I have Benny's, I'm going to go ahead and re-roll that. And there's the ace I'm looking for. That's a raise on the damage. So now we're going to roll damage against Midge. That oh. is 10 damage. Midge, that is going to be one wound. Would you like to attempt to soak what's about to happen to you? Yeah. Make that vigor roll. All you got to do is get a four better. I doubt you will. Oh, keep... In your face. <laughs> In your face. I'm not the one who got attacked by a scorpion. Fantastic. Yeah, Midge, you managed to just, oh, shit, you do the quick high, high knees, high knees, high knees, high knees, <laughs> as this thing is just coming at you. And it is a fairly good size scorpion. It's not like a tiny little thing. This thing is like the size of a goddamn dog. And it managed, you can, you're looking at it, and you see a little tiny trail where its little ass followed all of you right to the door that you left open. And the priestess <laughs> didn't do shit about uh, because she's probably OFO somewhere. And <laughs> we're going to go ahead and we're going to entertain everyone with our first combat. Ooh. Crap. Uh, okay. got two of spades. Natalia. What did I get? Natalia, you have a two of spades. Would you like to spend a Benny to get a different card? Nah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Bite him, I don't care. Midge, you have the I wanna I wanna see the Scorpion Chow suffer first for what she called me. He was gonna get slapped, but I think the scorpion is gonna do a good job. I'm just oh, hey, I I'm a neutral party here. Midge, would you like to spend a Benny and get a new action card? Mm. I would normally say you have nine Bennies, but I also realize that every Benny you spend is a Benny to me. <laughs> nah. All right. Ray Kona, I assume you're happy with the eight, or would you like to spend a Benny and try for something higher? No, I think I'll be fine. All right. And then, Felister, you have the high card you can take the first action that is appropriate i'll leave it that way um 
benefit or Benny to Caleb. He's selling his character like crazy. That's from Serenity to Witches. Oh, thank oh. you. And uh, from nice. Jadine, here's to the Fed. Always fight the oh. DM. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, <clears throat> all right, so Scorpion goes after me. Ooh. The Scorpion is technically still trying to murder Midge because it's about half her size. <laughs> uh, Midge, that Scorpion is almost as big as you are. Here, let me help. I right click. Right click, and when you see your, you should see the the color of your pip go above it. It might be a. Yeah, there you go. Then I love Zaku. I <laughs> Use my dagger. Except for I don't remember where that's at. A Benny the Scott gear, from Zaku. Gear, and just click the picture, and it'll throw it up for you in the chat. What'd you say? Wait, uh, I have a scimitar. I use my scimitar. Uh, a Benny to uh, Scott from Zaku. Punish oh. Natalia. Well, you have no idea. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. What in the hell just happened? Uh, the scorpion got hit. I accidentally clicked twice? Wait, I don't really, actually really don't know what happened. Uh, so it was my you... first one. My first one. Um, <laughs> it, it was. You clicked damage instead of roll. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Oops. it's okay. Just click the roll button. Yeah, it's fine. It's all good. Click roll. Oops. Uh, okay. Already trying to count your damage before you even roll. Right? Because I already know I have succeeded. <laughs> That's a true statement. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't Another see Benny where to I Scott rolled. and the Fed. It's, it's in the chat window. Fallister Curve Scimitar. You roll down and it'll have a giant, that big roll button. Or, uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, I can't really click on it. So it's gigantic. And Scott, you got another Benny? Oh, I really Jesus. don't have that. That is really weird. Oh, then... thank you, Frederick. Let me clear it and then click on your uh, click on your dagger again, please. Or your scimitar, rather. I see a damage. I see chat. Yeah, you should all the way down. There's a damage above damage should be a roll button. OK, I think this is the one I just did. Um, yeah, the, it should be the, rolling a D8 and a D6. It's not the right thing. Uh, it's not what you described, but it'll work for now. I'll figure it out. There you go. Um, That's your fighting roll. Perfect. That is a success. Are you happy with that? You're still going to do damage, but if you roll a little bit higher, you could actually get a raise on that and do some extra damage. Mm, and I don't have the drop on this thing, right? No, no, you do not. And However, you're getting, a, you're getting a so you're getting so you're sneak attack it's, though, it's, it's, right No, no sneak attack, but it's also to explain what's happening because you also have two allies that are currently engaged on the same target with you. You are getting a plus two to the gang up bonus as well. And the scorpion made a wild attack against Midge, so it put itself at a vulnerability status. And so that's also aiding to your role. Thank you, Aiden. I appreciate you. Oh my god, the bennies are flying. Uh yeah, I'm just gonna keep what I got. I wanna see so how this get, plays out so okay, I can start gauging. Awesome. Click the the damage, the two dice together. That'll be your normal damage. There you go. Oh, aced on the four. Woo nice. Woo. nice. That is going to be a success, which will shake the scorpion, but not kill it. Do you want to roll the damage again? No, I'll leave the damage. A little shake on scorpion sounds good. And then um, I believe I switched out for extraction, so I'm going to move away. Uh, so I, I take my stab. And then I'm going to uh, try to move out of danger here. Fantastic. Easy enough. And uh, Raycona and Mitch, uh, Falister, bits of haste retreat, uh, also negating part of your gang up bonus. Congratulations on losing some of that edge. <laughs> Always a team player, Fally. Always Next a up, team player. Oh. I'm just making sure there's none over here. Going after Midge again. That's a that is a success. <laughs> oh. In on both, it has frenzy. So, with frenzy, this scorpion is not just doing the one pincher. It's shoo, 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 shoo. it is pinching at you hard and fast. Oh, oh, oh my, my god, god. Midge! Damn, Midge! Well, it's time to get new character. 
That will be <laughs> three wounds. It will not incapacitate you. However, that will be very hurtful if you cannot soak these wounds. And that is a vigor roll. And you're going to have to get a success and then two raises. So you're looking for a four, an eight, a 12 or better. Here go my bennies. You have a lot. That's a success. That'll leave you with two wounds. Right. So do I, can I continue to roll or do I spend bennies? You can, you can spend, you can spend a benny and roll it again. Just click that benny button. Hmm. Oh. oh, nice. Aced. Woo -woo. Nice. Two successes. Uh, that will leave you with one wound and it will leave you in a shaken status, but it, but you'll still have the one wound, which will put you to negative one to all actions until that can be dealt with. Now, out of combat, anyone with a healing skill, or actually anyone, can try an untrained healing check <laughs> and to help you. Um, and they can try to take that wound away with a normal healing roll. However, we're not there yet. You're still getting your ass whipped by a scorpion. So do you want to accept the one wound, or do you want to spend a penny and try to get something better? You always keep the better result, no matter what. I'm going to try one more time. Let's do it. That's Let's the do spirit. It. Blow through those bennies because we're gonna need them. Midge. All right. Well, one wound it is. All right, Midge. Ah, a little help here, guys. It's like half my size. You're all Midge. too big. So the, Are you gonna uh, apologize? Are you gonna apologize? <laughs> that's so dirty pool, Natalia. Oh my wow. god. Poor wow. Mitch has been pinned into the sand. And yeah. you, there when are slices kill, in her small ankle. I, I am the champion and a guardian. You really you should kill not the be bug, testing. I'll me. consider an apology, but I'm all out busy right now. <laughs> Raycona, you're up. I'm going to lean down to the scorpion and go, Midge, Midge. Come on, it is just a small little guy. I'm going to reach my hand out, mm -hmm. and I'm going to play this. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Raycona, tell us what you're playing. I am playing the love interest. Play on a non-player character. The target fa eventually falls in love with your hero. He or she may tag <laughs> along onto your adventures, appearing intermittently to help in various ways, but also gets into trouble. And because Raycona is mild-mannered, he is not going to attack the thing. He's going to try to coax it. I like it. So <laughs> Raycona coaxes this thing, and it lets go of questions. Midge. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? The scorpion does, it's like... Come here. Come here. It's going to be okay. I like to slide my hand <laughs> under it. And its and tail just sort of extends all the way back and lays flat and it's oh come here little guy and not everything needs to be sold with violence sometimes we can make friends i'll put them up on my shoulder fantastic and with all the excitement natalia before we get to midge the door <laughs> begins to give way and then it opens midge and natalia uh, to be fair, you didn't have your actions. I just want to make sure you don't want to do anything, you know, like murder the scorpion. My thing disappeared. Oh. Oh, considering... Uh, I have no, I not... won't murder the scorpion. It's his pet, and the scorpion hit Midge to teach her a lesson. I'm good. Damn. It's all You're Midge. Wow. Allow me to pat you up. Our, our little friend didn't mean any problems. He was just a little startled by somebody invading his home. Midge? Wow. Are we good? I'm not going to forget this. <laughs> I didn't expect you to. Let's end the encounter. Well done playing that card. That is... Thank you. That is what I'm talking about. That is an unpredictable part of the game and with the adventure deck. So, Raycona, are you going to try to make the attempt to patch up that wound on Midge? If Midge will allow me. Fine. I will make it untrained. <laughs> Raycona is the healing via the do you want a cup of tea method. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> cup of tea heals all the wounds. <laughs> I'm beginning to understand Raycona. where these fables come from. Oh <laughs> God damn. You aced twice. 
on an unskilled check. check. <laughs> Midge, I'm going to remove the wound from you, and Rikona is essentially using old dirt, sand, <laughs> scorpion ichor, and you know, just uh, like, oh, just here, take this, uh, bite down on it, and here we go. And uh, the, the pain is starting to subside pretty, pretty right. quickly, actually. I'm right, really just... sorry for my friend's actions. Midge is starting to come around to the scorpion. I'm like, all right, all right, we're, we're good, we're good for now. You should all also right. take this as a compliment. They only ever attack the alphas of a group. Well, ain't that the truth? <laughs> this is how we get half scorpion, half men. You understand this, right? <laughs> there might be some more weirdness half, to it, but maybe. Half elf, half scorpion. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, for now, Rikona, I'll need to move the scorpion for you. Um, but yeah, just let me know how you wanna how you wanna handle your pet. And Falister, can you untarget the scorpion? Unless you just want to leave that as a dire warning. <laughs> no, I am going to keep my guard against this thing that snuck up upon us in the night. It's not night. It, it is day. not night. It is still hot as fuck. The, the, it is <laughs> it is the hottest it has ever been inside this damn room. And you have all tried to move a giant ass door inward that needed to go <laughs> over the side. Uh, and then now Midge is just standing here looking into uh, the room. There goes Fat Easter. <laughs> ah, I have found a hole. <laughs> that is, that is, that is that's, that's definitely what she you said. You don't have any problems. You should be that. good at. Oh, Midge. <laughs> Quite the answer. I Midge. high five Midge. <laughs> Midge, take it, Benny. <laughs> Yes, there is a hole descending deep into the earth. There is a coil of rope. The rope does extend over the edge and down into the hole and beyond. Now, the two who have dark vision and infravision, you can see oh no. you can Ooh. see down into the hole and just at the at the limits of your visual capacity. You can see the the coolness play off of uh, the stone beneath you, um, and so you would guess this is about a sixty foot drop. I would guess that this is about a sixty foot drop. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> and it's in a start. It is dark down there. It is. It is very. Well, Felicia, for your purposes, before you say anything, because you, the three of you, learned quickly about Midge and one of her problems, uh, it is. <laughs> It is what you would call fucking dark down there. Let's kick her down. Oh my god! <laughs> Mitch, look at me. This hole looks very dark from the top, but I can see all the way to the bottom and there is a gleam of light. You have nothing to worry about. You're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, we always have the lantern. You got a torch, yeah. okay. got lanterns. Maybe thanks. If, if, I will. If, if we just we drop <laughs> the lamp, lantern or torch now and just kind of spruce it up, break. We don't want it to break. In fact, probably a better idea is to have the devil well, go down use, first, and then we can lower almost... down the lantern and sort of light up the room, kind of make. Oh it my home. god! You're such a coward! <laughs> oh my oh, god! Man. Man. I will. Take out a torch. Okay. And I'll light it and drop it. Well, I and said then it's gonna get the lantern on a rope. I said, yeah, and then the rope, like, gets this on fire. Are you torch just... <laughs> okay. And you can the just see, there's like a... Sh it, it only is about a shaft. Like, the shaft itself is only maybe 10 feet. And then this torch just... There's Dude. no more light playing off the walls. So that tells you that whatever this hole is, is in the middle of some kind of area... And once you go down, there may not be an easy way to come back up because it hits, boom, and it just has a little, little tiny, you know, like a five foot wide area that it's illuminating at the bottom there. So, Mitch, here's it. what we're going to do I am going to take this rope and I'm going to put it down the hole. Once upon a time, I heard a fable about a young wizard from the stars who went to a far-off place to seek out a wise trainer. The trainer was a small uh, dwarf like yourself. Uh, the trainer would ride on the back of the wizard as they trained together. 
I am going oh to God. put you on my back in the same way, and we will scale down, and you will be in the light the whole time. Would that oh. be okay, Mitch? Oh, my God. I'd rather Raycona carry me. Oh, no, he's got a scorpion. I lied. I'll go with you. <laughs> Damn it. I... Felice, you take a Benny. I was hoping Mitch would say agreeable it is, but she did not. No, no. <laughs> Very well. Hop onto my back, and we will go down. Uh, so which rope are you... Are you using this your rope over rope? here? No, no, this, this rope, rope over here. here. Yes, this rope okay. looks fine. Actually, the DM just asked me if I was using this rope. I'm now very suspicious. Can I check the quality of this rope? <laughs> I need to make sure I you have, have rope. Adventurer's pack. I have an adventurer's pack with rope. You too have an adventurer's pack. Uh, may I check the quality of this rope? The You check the quality of the rope, and it is old, very old. And it only has about, oh, maybe a good five to ten feet on it. And then when you're pulling it up, it has been cut cleanly. Okay, we cannot use this rope. Does anybody have rope? I have rope. Oh, thank you, Mitch. I, I do believe. Uh, I will take her rope. Mitch, how much rope do you have? Uh, I'm looking. <clears throat> it just says hemp rope. It just says hemp rope. Yeah, I don't... Can we... T and big in our ropes. <laughs> and big in your rope with a Benny, Midge. That's the easy way of doing it. <laughs> Spend a Benny, and you have enough rope to make it down. There you go. Now, I'm not the Will kind that of person. Either rope and so like with something? Oh, well, there well, is tie a... it to Natalia. <laughs> oh, God. No. no, no, that is a bad idea, Mitch. There's clearly an anchor right here. I'm going to use the there, anchor that this rope was used on. <laughs> yeah, there is an anchor right okay. there where the rope is coiled around it. All right, get on my shoulders, Mitch. I will carry you down. You'll be safe in the light with me. You're just saying that. Do you hop on? I'm going to hop. Yep, I'm hopping on Fally. <laughs> oh boy, that is. Mm. Oh, mm. Oh. All right. Interesting. It happens very often. You don't have to be embarrassed. Let's go. So this is simple enough uh, as a professional uh, borrower of things, Felister. I'm sure you've done your fair share of second story work. We're not going to worry about a climb check. This is pretty straightforward. You're simply lowering yourself down. It's going to be the getting back up part that's really going to suck. Especially, when you know. We get, when we get halfway down, though, mm -hmm. can I use a performance check to fake a disaster to scare her? You 100% you can. <laughs> Nice. Roll performance. And Midge, I'm going to need... So this is kind of an example ah. of a test. So you're going to use performance, and then Shit, that's going to be resist... Oh, you, can roll, you can roll unskilled. <laughs> I'll do roll it. Roll unskilled. Midge, uh, go ahead and roll uh, smarts. Or spirit, your choice. Oh. Hmm. You guys are going to fall down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to take that negative two away because you should not have had it, Midge. That should oh. have succeeded on a five. So, Felister, what do you do halfway down? And why does it fail? And Midge, you'll, you can respond once he tells us how he tried. I am going to make my foot slip as if uh, something bad happened and I, I missed like a foothold or something. And I'm going to flop to the side and say, oh no, we're going to fall. Ah, the rope is frayed. We're going to plummet. Midge, hold on. Midge, he's clearly bullshitting you. I'm going to smack him in the face. God damn it. Ow! What was that for? For trying to scare me. <laughs> okay, but smacking me, I could have really here. fell. You idiot. Can I come over time? here and shake the rope a little bit? No, no, oh no, God, don't do Mitch. that. What? Okay. Mitch. How bad do you want to shake the rope, Natalia? Are we talking like just a little bit of tug tug? Or are we talking like <laughs> maniacal? Well, I don't. I don't want them to fall. I, I, don't I, you? I want a bard to figure out that she needs the champion. She just got bit by a scorpion. She got the both pinchers. She's never going to let us go, Mitch. Just say she's the champion and get it over with. Duh. Duh. I'm going to go as quickly down as I can before Natalia shakes us both off for real. Easy enough. 
I didn't know she. I didn't know she actually tried to shake it. The scorpion's right here next to you. Wait, next to who? You know what? You are right. It is my duty. Oh no! I truly uh, believe it to be. Uh, Caleb, I think you may have closed your camera at some point because you accidentally got muted. What did you just say? Because the oh. audience missed it. He said he said um, that uh, because I'm a true champion, I should go and make sure that the coast is clear so he doesn't die a horrible death. And I agreed with him because as part of being a champion and a guardian, um, it is my, my duty and my vow to protect those who are weaker than me. <laughs> so definitely it makes a lot of sense. I look at uh, Reikona and I nod and say, "You're right. Don't worry. You're you're one of the you're one of the good ones. I I know that I can judge your character as well as a moot that you will not have your heart. And I'll Thank go you. down. Can you please stop running your mouth and get down here so we can leave before dark? <laughs> can, can she hear me through that? Yeah. I mean, you do, your voice kind of carries, Natalia. You know, you're kind of a you're a bigger person. Yeah. And not metaphorically, but you know, literally, and uh, also not spiritually or socially. Uh, just well, just... everybody's bigger than the devil and and and, and Mitch. That's well, Mitch is very much. Mitch is very delicate. So, am I to delicate. understand, Natalia? You're gonna be you're gonna descend the rope next. Yes. Okay, fantastic. And then Raycona and Pet Scorpion. Yes, he starts like kind of talking <laughs> to a scorpion a little bit. Fan... Oh my god, I love it. That's awesome. Fantastic. Uh, I will tell you this, that as you're coming down, uh, Felister uh, and Midge, as you near the end of the rope and you can see the floor coming up, uh, it is in fact pitch black down here, but there is a odor, almost like a, a musk, just, it's a stale air, but also there is some decay that floats just beneath the surface of that stale air. Oh, it probably smells like home. Oh my God! It's you. <laughs> it's not me. Stop right. partying, devil! It smells. You like can't even smell this. Shut up, please. All right, and let me activate your next. So, Fellerster. I had a question yes. for you. Please. What do you know of this ancient wizard you are speaking of? Was it Caldron, the sculptor? <laughs> I, I beg your pardon, ancient wizard? <clears throat> you really believe him? You know he's a devil. <laughs> I am he's, in... He, all he does is lie. And he's a wizard, though. I mean, there are wizards. He was accurately close to the man that I am searching for. I apologize. I have no idea what you're talking about. Did I say something about a wizard? <laughs> it is fine. I will find him on my own. Raycona, because your eyes, you have your lantern. I, I get that. The, the torch is blaring away a little bit, but it has a limited range. But uh, just outside of the, of the edge of that, right up against what appears to be a stone door is a corpse. Roughly human size and absolutely desiccated from the ages down here. Curious, sir. Curious, sir. I'll approach yes. it and start to examine. There's a uh, body over here. Oh, clearly, this corpse is very ancient and it is desiccated. <laughs> Man, take a penny. <laughs> Just carefully watching that ring of light. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is she like clingy uh, to yeah. me? I, <laughs> oh, I, I've not let go. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's uh. Oh, go ahead. Let's Bobby, do this. I will hold bad, my right? torch, and you can hold my tail. <laughs> Fine. I mean, this is this is bad, right, Midge? The the dark ah. or the body? 
No, the, the dark. I guess it's not horrible. It's just, it's, ba it's, it's bad enough to be at least a slightly noticeable. You know, yeah. cute little things mm -hmm. like, you know, <laughs> retreating from the, the edge of darkness, things like that. I mean, the guy's Here's definitely mine. dead. Guys. <laughs> 100% dead. Uh, Raycona, the, the body is dressed in a really old uh, type of robes that you still commonly see in uh, the lands of Osirion and a couple of the areas to the south. Um, however, uh, if you're kind of going through it and you're, you're looking over the body, um, out of one of the, the sleeves of those robes, you do see what looks like uh, the tattered remains of padded armor hmm there's padded armor here um, is it usable or is it rotten it is very rotten does it look slashed or does it just look rotted due to old age <laughs> uh, oh uh that is gonna take let's see let's have Let's have a common knowledge roll there, Raycona. Okay. Uh, definitely rotted due to old age. Um, this body is probably down here, been down here quite a while just by the state of it. Um, it's it's all kind of, it's not like it's just, uh, it's laying here, then it's the door. Um, it's shit's akimbo. Um, it's laying, f you know, face down kind of up against the door. Do bones look broken? Ah, let's have a heel check. A heel check. I am unskilled in this, I believe. Well, so I will roll. Are all of you unskilled in heel? Absolutely, uh, we are. Yep. Oh my God Almighty! <laughs> I would not say that is especially true. I happen to be very gifted in a specific kind of healing. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, well, that is fair. That is one kind of healing. <laughs> Starting ah. to regret holding on to the tail. <laughs> As it just quivers. Oh my God, Raycona, the oh the legs and the lower back and part of the spine look slightly pulverized. Uh, as if this may have suffered an injury from a great fall. Okay. All right. And it seems like he fell. Probably uh, the rope that we had upstairs, the one that was in two pieces, probably frayed out on him. I was worried it might mm -hmm. be poison, because there are no slash marks. And Rakona, how, how, how are you going about this? Are you just sort of doing a cursory once-over glance, or are you actually fiddling with the body? Probably fiddling with the body. He's very curious and just goes for it. Fantastic. Take a Benny. And as you're filling with the body, you realize that underneath the body, there is still uh, like a, um, a satchel that is, it's leather, so it's not in terrible shape. It is tattered. It is kind of rotting through. Uh, but the way the body is bent around it, there's something inside the satchel. Do I see that? He was keeping. <laughs> Give me a notice roll, Fal Easter. Notice. Perfect. Just want to oh, see so if Raycon is between you. Oh my God, double ace. Oh my goodness. Wow. Not only do you see it, Fal Easter, but you can see through some of the tatters through the glow, your light is glinting off of glass. Careful, do not touch that. It's a trap. <laughs> By all means. Bye. Why are you trusting the devil? Hey, I'm a resident a trap. trap expert. I've saved your lives many times. Why yeah. would you even think of that? Uh, allow me to take a real quick look. Point Fallister. He did save your uh, lives. Everybody, stay back five feet. Right. Just in case. I'm so. going to back up but hold the tail. <laughs> it's fine. Sure I have a ten foot reach. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure he's not stealing anything. So I'm gonna stand right next to him. So just careful, careful observation. Yes, yeah, so I would like, like to, I would like to open the cloth and kind of look better at what's inside, but try not to let anybody else see. Okay. Rico's gonna try. To I'm keep. like, yeah, I'm like putting my head like right next to to him to see. Uh, fair enough, Falister. Let me have a thievery roll, and oh, Natalia, yeah. let's have a notice roll. We're gonna contest these two. Could I also roll notice? I'm just trying to get a peek. 
Yeah, sure. If you like, I want to see. Nice. Nice ace. Natalia's on a seven. Shit. Rakona's on a three. Um, Valley's there on a four. <laughs> of course. This that's is why you're always below five. average that's still We're still lower? Out. That's still lower. She had a seven. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that puts you at a, a six. six. <laughs> still lower. One more time. <laughs> I I'll take, I hope I'll take all, all the bennies. Take all the bennies. Oh, fell Easter. Still low. Okay, here we go. Frederick said 20 for Phallus if he rolls his endowment. So D100, or if not, he's going to give it to Scott. Okay, let me roll. I'm going to roll my, my endowment. How do I roll a D100 in this thing? Just. Uh, in the chat, type uh, slash R space D100. We're so <laughs> Oh, no. You're really <laughs> it's not the size of the wand. It's the magic of the wielder. Um, it's, let me... it's cold down here. <laughs> me... It's 114 degrees down here. Scott got, Scott it's, got cold. Two... it's cold. Scott, oh Scott got God. two bennies. Two bennies. Damn. To make Phallus' oh, life harder. Oh, why? Oh, I'm going to so use that Benny I just got to, to, to try one more time. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh. Yeah, God, is... screw it. Fine, she catches me. All right, fine. Yes, uh, Raycona, you are. There's a lot going on, Raycona. There's, there's, there's a door. It looks like it opens, and then there's walls, and then there's there's no way up. Your wizard brain is like, oh Jesus Christ! There is literally the shaft comes down in the middle, and then spreads out across the roof, and then drops down. So you're like, oh, well, I mean, we got down pretty easy, but that whole climb up, I, you know, you're like, well, I got I got wizard arms. I don't I don't know. I got Natalia arms. However, Natalia. You do see what Phallister is doing in that bag, and you see the following items. Um, there is, I'll, I'll give you the, I'll give you a choice, Natalia, of what you see, and then the rest, I'll, Phallister, I'll explain to you. There is uh, a, a group or a bundle of metal, there is a single tool, and then there is uh, two glass bottles natalia what do you want to know about uh, natalia said she has to take care of something she'll be right back all right natalia's on pot she don't even know about shit <laughs> <laughs> no that sounds like to me i have everything you got everything uh yes so for Falister, Falister. Uh, there are a bundle of metal pitons for climbing or wedging doors or whatever your little creative brain can think of. There is a hammer that goes along with that set in order to just drive the hell out of those things in the stone uh, or people or scorpions or whatever you comes at you. Uh, and then there are two vials that are they're, – they're glass, but they're a thicker glass. And inside is a very thick liquid substance. And, you, you know, as you're kind of looking at them and you got the sack and you're trying to peer into it, the liquid barely moves. It just it's it's just creepy of how it just sits in there, almost as if it's heavy. I am so curious. Now, for a real quick oh, pause stop. for Raycona, um, we talked about this once before to make sure you're tracking on that. You, As a wizard, you can detect magical auras basically mm. at will. Um, you need to detect arcana power in order to identify something with a, with your power. But just looking at things, you can pick out magical auras. Hmm. Uh, my phallus friend, I can sense that you're holding something magical, and I do not wish to take it away from you. As I said, I I'm pretty sure it is a trap. Well, allow me to uh, examine it, if you would. I will not touch it. You know, that is not a very tempting okay, for, to I'm examine back. without touching. Right. That's not even foreplay. This is actually good because she missed exactly the exact description. So, Natalia, there's three things in there. There's a small bundle of metal. Uh, objects. There is a tool of some kind that you can kind of make out, and then there are two glass vials that you kind of can see in there. Uh, 
which one of those things do you want me to describe to you? Uh, the vials. The vials. So, <laughs> damn you. Uh, so the vials are a thickened glass, um, and they have, um, you're looking at this, it, it's, it's an orangish liquid, but it's, it's not really liquid, Natalia. It's almost like a, for your purposes and your background and where you come from, this is almost reminiscent of a gelatinous substance that you have at least heard about once before. But it's on the tip of your tongue, and you're not positive what it is, but it, it's just you know you've seen this substance somewhere before. Okay. Um, I think I should take that. I don't trust the devil with this. Hang on. Guys... They're all kind of discussing what's in the bag. Can I try and take one of the vials out of it? Are you in, even looking? In secret or just snatch it? I mean, I'm like you're holding my tail. Grab it. Yeah, I'm reaching out to grab it. You're like you're behind. Ballister I'm doing next. Who knows what to his tail? You're grabbing his tail. I will feel the bend of my tail. I'll know exactly what you are doing. Don't try it, woman. I didn't say I didn't want you to see me do it. I asked if I could take one. Ooh, wait, what? Wow, with the tail? Oh, my God. Would you allow me? Oh, my God. Would you allow me to access it, guys? (laughs) Yes, Rekona, I think you are best suited to take a look at this clearly magical substance. This is what we call a Syrian standoff. (laughs) Rekona will reach to his uh he reaches to his right hip and pulls off the frontmost book it looks about the size of a gideon bible that you'd find in a um in a hotel and uh he flips it open and he like grab like this mist starts to come out of the book but he grabs his eyes and like pulls them inward and Mm -hmm. uh begins to detect arcana Awesome. So this is perfect. Um, click the little picture of the, you know, the, ah, the power dude to right. show in chat and then spend an extra power point to, I assume you want to identify. Yes. Yep. So go ahead oh and God, one. roll your, there you go. Nice. Nice. That is a success. So, uh, let's see. I want you to do your trapping. So do you name the power when you use it? And what does the power look like for everyone else around you? So he says, uh, while he's holding it, he says, Varaxis, access this guy. And the smoke covers his face. And the only person that would probably see it would be Falister as he like pushes his eyes inward to like a sunken position. Ooh. And like different eyes slide in. Ah, uh, just sort of. Hey, regret allowing this. <laughs> what is it that you have there, my friend? So, this has a name that you're familiar with, and it is known as Alchemist Fire. Oh. Ah, but you, you know it bears fire. other names amongst different cultures. You have the fire of the potion purators. It is quite a useful item. Ah, oh, I see. It makes sense. I can consume it and breathe fire. Perfect. I should definitely have it since I'm always in front. Thank you. I think that's what you throw. I don't think you consume it. <laughs> Natalia, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm sorry, it? what did you say? <laughs> well, I was going to let him figure it out for himself. All it takes is one time. Natalia, <laughs> Natalia, what is wrong with you? Where are your hindrances? <laughs> Arrogant, suspicious, cautious. Ah, cautious, to be fair, and bow. Damn you. So the question so is, do what not... do you do with these two vials? Uh, um... I was going to keep them. And the... And for Raycona, 
you you said what you said, and Natalia, you hear it, and that where it clicks. Um, you know this as Hellion's gel. Okay, I think how about the devil grabs one and I grab the other. Oh boy. And Midge, were you trying to take one of the vials? I Whenever was. You get to, do you <laughs> are you trying to thievery the vial, or are you just I'm just, like. I don't know what you want like, to do. If you snatch it, you're... <laughs> but I have thievery. You do have thievery. You're a bard. Yes. So my thought was before trying to nip one out of the bag, but... Well, it's easy, because uh, Raycona didn't have to touch them. He just simply went all weird and shit and, <laughs> okay. you know, did his thing. To be fair, you've seen him do other weird things, but this is a little unsettling. Seduce scorpions. Yeah. So you're right. <laughs> so, you yeah, have a nice I, 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 I'd like to try to, to uh, you know, palm one out of the bag. Let's have that thievery. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I wish I could just get him to stay. That's a success. Are you happy with that success? Scott, um, someone uh, was wondering, is there yeah. a way that everyone could see the bennies on stream that everyone has? I, you, on the lower left uh, of the screen, where that the stack of players, can you, do you guys all see your player names? We don't see that, no. No. Ooh, let me do a configuration setting, and that way we can, because that will help. Uh, yes. Yes. Configuration settings. I should figure it out real fast. While, uh, well, Midge, Midge, are you happy with your? I'm going to try one more time. Okay. There is a way to do this. That is a basic success again. All right. Well, we're going to have to be okay with that. Okay. So while. Natalia and Felicia are kind of going back and forth and having this conversation of, well, maybe I get one. No, maybe I, well, you know, to be fair, uh, Midge, you do manage to slide a vial of alchemist fire very carefully and place it into your bag. <laughs> it's not your bag, but okay. <laughs> They're my bags. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she has her own bag. Did this put you over? Over? Did this? Did this encumber you by any chance? Oh God, I didn't think Jesus. of that. You know, you pull up the no. compendium and pull Alchemist Fire into your uh, into your thing, and I am trying to find where this stupid thing is. Panta speaker. I know it's here somewhere. No, that's well. If there's bad. one left, I'll I'll let the devil have the last alchemist fire. Oh, oh yeah, you, uh, you, you, you so should arguing. definitely have one, Natalia. We've been traveling together for a long time, so here's yours, Aww. and I'll take mine. I give you yours, then I reach down and grab mine. <laughs> Gone. Wait a second. <laughs> Gone. There's only one. Wasn't there two? No, I believe there was only one. Uh, oh, Natalia, I take oh, it back. Yeah. Can I have that, please? I'll give. I'll give it I mean, to you. I, I, I have my sword. Uh, that is yeah. fair. I will make sure not to breathe the fire on you. There we go. I would be very careful with that, my friend. Cyborg navigation. Player configuration token hub. <laughs> There's going to be a burning in the fabs. <laughs> I, I do see it. Excuse me, I am very clean. I would never have a burning in my phallus. No. Uh, Ooh. I you. Ooh. You might get that four percent. Hey, on the lower left, can you guys see the little pop up now that says players and all your names? Nope. No. God, no. Some bitch. It may need a reboot, but I don't really want to do a reboot. Something we can do probably do later. Yeah, yeah we'll have to do it later. We will try to make that happen you. next time, Hayden. There you go. They also mentioned possibly seeing our like our wounds. I don't know. I if think that's nobody something. is wounded right now. No one's no, wounded, no. and yeah, the only way to do that is to really look at the character sheets. Uh, or we could put little status markers up on on everyone. We can figure something out. That is easy to put the status markers on there. All right. 
So now right. the well, we have a mystery now. Fallacy? Are, are, are you? I mean, obviously, you 100. There was two. From now, Rakona has told you to know there was only one. No, uh, there were there were two. Uh oh. I bet I bet the little midget to get. <laughs> yep. Can't even see. There you go. Problem solved. Oh. Oh, it seems so unfair. There were two. Well, she clearly needs. Well, she just said she took it. Oh, yeah, she, she admitted it? to it? I, I yeah, didn't... she admitted to it. Oh, my God. Mitch. She admitted to it. So she Why would it. you do such a thing? No, because she can't help it. As I wanted it, and you guys were taking too long, so can we just leave this place and get out of here before dusk? I just told you it was dangerous. You just grabbed it. <laughs> now yeah. you were the one with the stick hands. <laughs> so if I tell you something's dangerous, you'll grab it. Oh, let's just send Mitch forward. <laughs> I'm sure he can figure it out. I and just mean my tail. Mitch. Mitch. Uh, here, allow me to get it on. So, uh, irony of all ironies, whoever this poor soul was, the door was completely unlocked. Mm. And it swings open. They had to crawl this close only to not be able to reach the mechanism to release the door. Aww. Uh, so this sad. hallway Let's looks go. suspiciously long and empty. So it, the hallway it is ten feet wide, and it, you see it extends to a degree. I think Raycona probably has the best visual range on mm -hmm. it. Uh, Raycona, you can see there. Um, going down the hallway, there's uh, the walls are some sort of frescoes. It's it's a little hard to make out with your lack of color vision right now, but you definitely can see the imagery. But it's everything kind of just melt blurs together when it comes to art pieces. If they have any kind of art or coloration that's supposed to pop for you. Well, our brave <laughs> leader, <laughs> Natalia, it is your time to shine. Five Champion. foot shuffles. <laughs> I don't think so. I think, that, I, I think uh, uh, Mitch volunteered herself to do this. Mitch, I, do you see that I thing at the end of the hallway? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it does. I would like to check the hallway and make sure there are no uh, traps, you know, pressure oh. plates or, or that sort of thing. Let's have that notice roll. What a great person. I've been doing this for a while. Oh, nice. Aced. 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 Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> so. It's oh. going to be an empty hallway, too. I'm so pissed. Felicia, <laughs> are you doing this a bit at a time, or are you kind of moving up by yourself? Are you bringing your companions with you? How are you doing this? <laughs> Midge has to come with me. She's holding my tail, and she won't stay away from the light. So I'm keeping her behind me. <laughs> oh. All right. And uh, going forward slowly. <laughs> All right. What about the rest of you? I'll follow beside Midge. Oh, no, actually, man. beside Natalia, because Natalia is the strongest of us. Go ahead and keep <laughs> moving yourselves up, Faustor. You are very carefully checking this because this is the most obvious death trap dungeon that you've ever seen in your very long career. So far, everything is checking out. We're moving too fast. <laughs> Let's just stop there, Falister. Uh, so there's a door at the end of the hallway. With your torchlight, the frescoes along this hallway are displays of super masculinity, hunting, war, all the great things that whoever is buried in here did in life and all the awesome things they're probably not actually doing in the afterlife. But in front of you, that entire... 10 foot wide by 5 foot is a massive pressure plate. Mitch. Yep. You see that uh, fresco over there? Oh my god. It's dangerous. <laughs> you should go grab it. Oh my god. <laughs> Do I would know he's lying. Right. Do you, though? Do you? <laughs> well, it's, it's, to be fair, you're a bar. You're a professional bullshitter. <laughs> yes. So, I'd be like, uh, I'm going to take a hard pass. You can have it. Go on, buddy. 
Fair enough. Uh, mm, did I take... Did well, I take okay, the... so if somebody gives 100 to Scott, how does that work? Uh, well, he's either giving five pennies to Scott or he's giving a miracle. It's one of the two. <laughs> so, so, so five pennies to, Scott. pennies to Scott. I'm, I'm going to so assume that means five pennies to Scott. Yeah. Well, this is about uh, to be real interesting, too. Um, so, I did I grab those uh, hammer and piton, pitons, pitons? Piton? You, I, I... I, to be fair, I didn't hear you say you did. You guys were no, arguing over glass files, and then you just kind of left everything behind. That. I didn't hear you take it. Say Everybody no. stay exactly where you are. I'm going to go <laughs> grab some pitons. Do not touch anything. This is dangerous. I'm being serious this time. This is not a joke. Uh, Would you like some pitons? <laughs> oh, well, if you have some, I'll just use yours. I do not Actually, have pitons. I, I have a fever right. kit. Why not oh have pitons? <laughs> Oh my God, Caleb! What did you say? Take a, <laughs> take a Benny. Shit. No, he told you. He asked you, and then you, of course, you approach. You're like, "Oh yeah, if you got him." And he's like, "No, I don't really have any. I just, I just checked." I don't. Oh, well, that was very helpful. Thank you. Again, can, do not go over. Right. I swear to Kalistra, it is dangerous. So, question for everyone else. That doesn't tell us anything. First off, Mitch Fallister is leaving. Oh, you, uh, Raycona, <laughs> do you have your lantern lit? She, uh, she's holding my tail. Yeah. She can come with oh. me. No, she's no, not... I would. I don't have my lantern lit. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take <laughs> away that light that she's currently enjoying. As she's walking by, can I like try and trick her, like just like stick my leg out? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, athletics versus athletics, Midge and Natalia. God, Sev is quick on yeah. this. Oh, Sev, where is, yeah, it's where is really my bad. athletics? All right. Yeah, I'll just let it fail. Oh. <laughs> she failed too. <laughs> she didn't okay. fail. It's a, it's a pose, but the, the the tie will go to her. And yeah, you see that big, you know, woman's 14 come out. Hey, hold on. Not anymore. I'm going to. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it. No, it's so they bad. They just gave him five bennies. Why would you give him another one? <laughs> <laughs> I tried. He laughs yeah. in the face of I danger. We gotta get to a point where I can start spending pennies on you guys. Uh, <laughs> wow. Man. Okay. So for the for well, for, for Lister and Midge are down the other hall, going back to get the pitons into the bag. Let me ask you a question, uh, Natalia and Raycona. What are you two doing in this hallway? I'm just saying, still waiting. Okay. Uh, so I don't taking it trust Calistria as far as I can throw it. So, um, do you want me to just? He seems like there's some kind of thing of danger in front of us. Do you want me to Here. make us a ladder? Uh, yeah, I think that's good. Can I have your torch out lighted up? Make sure to keep it. Sure. I have flint and steel, so I can light it up. Well, actually, I'm interested to see what this devil man does with these pitons. I'll, well, I'll no, he's gonna, he's, he's gonna try. Okay, I can I still get your torch. You can still can have I it. hear what they're saying? I like the torch. Again, I need to update Natalia's token because Natalia, yeah, there you go, perfect. I think Nat Natalia, you're in the dark, correct? Yeah, but I'm like you're, not, the torch. you're not Midge. I get it. Yeah, Midge, you can hear them talking shit about you as Felister or whatever they're saying. He's grabbing pitons. I never said so that. We're, we're, no, so we're talking about Phallus God. We're not talking shit about them. Uh, I, my bad. My bad. Uh, at least it doesn't, it doesn't take much for you to come back. I just wanted to give a chance for your two companions to fuck up and plot. <laughs> yes, do whatever they want to do. There you go. I have got ass. the pitons. I just oh. love watching the goddamn Bard's <laughs> token case. <laughs> okay, Ballister. Here's how traps work. You are going to need to disable this, and we are going to use the repair skill for that. And you have a negative one to the roll, but you have piton, so we're going to count that as a plus one, so it's going to even out. But I happen to know something that you're probably already discovering about your character. Uh-oh. <laughs> Good luck. Can I, uh, can I light the torch, please? You may wait light a, a torch. Now, <laughs> wait a minute. Jesus wept. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so screwed. All right, let's see. Uh, you you so many a little bit with me. You got Don't so many pennies. For the chat, 
uh, or for the viewers, uh, Falister doesn't actually have the repair skill, so disarming a trap is about to be an unskilled check, which is a neg D4 at a negative two. And you gotta get a four or better. Really? Oops. I mean... Accidents happen. <laughs> this doesn't... This... Well, I, my thievery skill says I can set and disable traps. Ooh! Oh, maybe it's a Pathfinder thing. Maybe I have that. Now, normally it's a repair. So by all means, roll your uh, thievery. That is my Ooh. bad. That is my bad. I was like, how did I fail? Okay. Normally we're using... I would have a lot of explaining to do. You're good. You're good. Ugh. Shit! <laughs> Aced. Aced. There you go. You drive it home, and you are good to go. That is a success with a raise. You have completely disabled the trap. And with the raise, Fally Stairs, you're looking at it, you understand what happens. This pressure plate goes down, and the walls to either side are a thin material, probably a plaster, and it probably an arrow or a spear trap that just fills this hallway. Best I guess. See. Huh. Well, you're welcome. I saved you from becoming pin cushions. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. I, I suppose I should test my handiwork. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> see, no problem. Oh, my neck! Ah! Oh! <laughs> into it. <laughs> Did somebody fall for it? Well, the devil is down. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, what do you? Is this what do you, what are you? What are your companions thinking? I mean, he starts overreacting. Oh my gosh, you're so hurt. Let me take a look at your wounds for you. Ooh. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I fooled you again. <laughs> I'm so clever. <laughs> I'll open this door now. <laughs> uh, fantastic the door is not locked and you're gonna go ahead and throw it open that takes balls in this place <sighs> you know i have to say there is a suspicious amount of unlocked doors in a tomb there is a suspicious <laughs> amount of unlocked doors in here it's all... this fell easter is it's it's a squared off room um however you can start to make out where it's um it's almost like um like the entrance to a home if you had to really put your finger on it um Raycona, it's the the word he's looking for is foyer uh if you had to really guess uh what the purpose of this was but uh on either side of the walls just where your torchlight extends and then for Raycona, your dark vision extends out past that or your information, sorry, you can see there are small tapestries hung on the walls. Um, and to either side of you, to the north and to the south, there are doors. And then Raycona, you can see further down, there are more tapestries. They're old, they're rotted. Falister just runs in through the thing and <laughs> traps, rocks fall, everyone dies. I want to see the uh, tapestry. <laughs> the tapestries depict a reasonably functional, normal life as an Osirian lord or a noble warrior of, uh, to some degree. Uh, it's it's uh, a man and looks like a probably a wife, children, and they're going about their day. Every the, each of the tapestries just kind of depict, hey, this is a normal day in our life. We're baking. We're having fun together we're having little picnics there's no warfare there's no death there's no nothing this is a very calming room to be in how Aww. boring <laughs> what the fuck was this pillar? what's up uh i'd like to know yes the okay. pedestals yes, yes. raycona the pedestals so on uh, there's a pedestal. It's so hard to see with everything. Uh, the pedestal here, Raycona, just behind it, as you're poking around it, there is the mummified remains of a cat. Hmm. There is a wrapped kitty in here. Falister, get over Did here. Did you say kitty? Love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you said kitty, healthy. not pussy. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I was not Mish. confused about death, you dirty-minded little minx. Mish. 
so His hurtful. name's Falister, for God's Alex. sake. Oh. Okay. How did you get uh, down here, little guy? Uh, Falister, are you? You're kind of looking at the little the kitty mummy. Well, yay yeah, big. Yeah, okay, well, the kitty up. mummy's head kind of sits at a weird angle. You know, kind of, kind of, you know, you know, like if you were to just kind of like, oh, kitty snap. Who would do such a thing? What barbarian did this? Well, I mean, do you want to live forever or not? So everyone has to make sacrifices, Valister, to live forever in the in the eternal bliss and glory. Sometimes you got to choke a cat to death, apparently, and wrap it in, you know, uh, mummified wraps, and then uh, rip its uh, brain and its uh, guts out. Oh, it's all part of the yeah. Take its corpse and give it a dignified burial do, later. You know, oh. Do you have a Phallus? fondness for cats? You know, Phallus, if you peddle the mummy cats, you get a Benny. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm interested really? in why you're so interested in a cat. <laughs> He's this probably going to sacrifice it. I love it. cats. He's probably going to sacrifice it. What do you expect from a devil? Since when? <laughs> well, since always. I have a certain affinity for the creatures. They remind me of home. Hmm. That's actually... <laughs> Aren't you native? No. <laughs> yes, I am here from Assyria. There are cats everywhere. What do you want? Yeah. I'm just... This seems... odd. <laughs> I'm a cat guy. I don't a... understand what's so odd about that. All right. well, why do you think that is odd when our wizard is obsessing over a scorpion? At least my pet I won't kill you with its tail. Just go open the door! He's His done. pet isn't dead. <laughs> anyway, what's on this other pedestal? The other pedestal is just has some dust remains uh, as well as wrappings that were very likely at one time another mummified creature. But there's is no it body. Not the cat. <laughs> uh -uh. There's don't no care. body there. It's just remains. Oh, is it? okay, okay. I got you. I got you. Yep, yep, yep. This door to the north. I want to investigate it. All right. What do you want to do with this door as you investigate it? I want to see if there's any sign of booby traps, strings, bells, uh, whirring mechanisms, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> Let's have that notice. Ray Kona, I notice you lingering down to the south. Yes, I'd like to take a look at this door. Also, 50 in chat to put a mimic somewhere. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, don't worry, chat. <laughs> Give us a mimic somewhere randomly, of course, for the session. <clears throat> never mind, I never asked this question. <clears throat> but seriously, and the Fed should be able to read our plots. Shouldn't, Shouldn't be able be to read able. our plots. Oh. I, I wasn't oh. reading it anyways until... <laughs> <laughs> At least, sir, that is uh, a success. Are you happy with that? Ray Kona, that is, that is not good. Yeah, yeah. shouldn't that be attached to my smart? Notice, no. It, no, it's its own skill. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it is attached to smarts, but you it is a trick attribute with smarts, yeah, yeah. It's 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 controlling attribute, but yeah, you just roll the d4 for your notice. I'm very happy with my result. I will you, are, you will re roll, and you are very happy with yours. And I am Jeez, much what? happier with my oh my god. So, yes, here's a here's both doors are safe. Um. At least professionally, Falister, your door is totally safe, totally fine. It is, in fact, locked. Um, Raycona, your door seems totally normal. You're kind of, you know, as you're looking at it, you're listening to Falister and talk about it. And as they're arguing about this and that and cats and whatever other ridiculous shit, um, you kind of, you, you're smart enough to kind of mimic how Falister behaves. And you're like, oh, okay, well, here's where a thing would be. And I would probably do this and a spike trap and death blades and flamed pits and shit um you have a very good idea ray Kona, that the door is very likely safe um and you gotta raise so with the raise but the door is also locked you can tell just kind of how you're messing around with it and not trying to open it but just sort of pushing on it and it's it's very firm against uh, its hinges well this one's safe but locked well this one is also safe and, uh, it is locked, but it won't be for much longer. Uh, give me just a moment. Absolutely. Thievery? Thievery it is. Are, are these doors, like, take a plus. Weak? Take a plus one with that. You aced. Aced again. Aced again. Aced again. Oh, my. <laughs> Damn. 
So that's uh, five, six, five, it's a success in four raises. So, uh, Felister, this is just easy. It's just like, what a child built this lock. This is stupid. Why, even lo why bother locking at this point? You're just going <laughs> to leave it brought wide open for someone to just walk into. If you build a foyer, you put them in five. Suspicious you do this. amount of unlocked doors. Again, yeah. The amateur. Very amateur hour. Uh, the door is unlocked. Quite skilled, my friend. Oh, I need that closed because I... It opens, and it opens into a set of stairs descending further into the earth. Hmm. I don't think anybody's chewing gum. Oh, look, stairs. Does Tessie say uh, chewing gum? No yeah, I'll come unlock yours said, as well. Somebody said, who is chewing gum in their mic? No one's chewing gum in their mic, I don't think. Nope. <laughs> the fed is. Now he's chewing gum. All right, Phallus, are you looking at this door as well? I don't even look at it. I trust Rickona. Yeah, simple. Oh. It, it also unlocks. The question is, is, do you open it? Of course. Rickona it told also, me that it is safe. It also opens to a set of stairs descending further into the earth. Well, well, is there anything two options. in this? Hell or hell. Is there um, anything in this I room wonder. that might tell us which way to go, like in the tapestries or anything like that? Let's have, you know what, Natalia? Let's have an academics. Um, would it be then unskilled? It would be an unskilled. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes, no. I'll roll academics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so close to that four almost flipped to a one. Oh, I was wishing it. Natalia, uh, I mean, the one... Go ahead, Midgen, roll. Uh, the <laughs> one tapestry is kind of like... It looks happier than the others, you know? It's like, oh, they look like they're just kind of hanging out over here. That might be a better way to go. But then again, this one down here by Phallister seems a little more serious. Like, oh, you know, they're just kind of, they're just, they're hanging out and maybe a couple of little, not thrones, but little high seats. And he's, it's him and it's his wife and she's very stern. And the kids are there like, oh, that one seems a little more serious. Mitch, Mitch, Jesus, what? Jeez. Uh, Midge, while Natalia is wrestling with her instincts, um, honestly, they have no bearing on anything. I mean, uh, it's there's, there's nothing about these tapestries that would annotate anything to you. In fact, the style is uh, a very um, pre Osirian, uh, post uh, fetishicide fete fete incursion probably around six to 7,000 before Common Era, and you're looking at the style and the art. It's Art Nouveau. They are a, they're not freestanding, so to say, and you're just kind of rolling around in your head of everything about that you can understand. Um, meanwhile, Natalia is still kind of wrestling. And Natalia, Natalia, do I is assume correctly that uh, Natalia reads out loud? No. That she has to read something? <laughs> oh, come on, Natalia. What do you no. think? <laughs> I'm just looking. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no opinion on the doors or oh god damn. I didn't I didn't tell her what I was doing. Natalia. I was just looking at the, around the room. Natalia. It's, uh, Mitch is uh, do you hear what she said to you? <laughs> No, I did, but what I'm saying is I, I was know what you're saying. The room. She shouldn't have known what I was doing. I'm just reminding you. Yeah, I'm standing okay. in the same room. All right. <laughs> I'll move forward towards Mitch, and then I will slash at her with my sword. Wait, oh. wait her sword? Your like sword? A, like the flat of your blade? Yeah. Oh, my word. Well, that's... Well, shit. Well, shit. That is, uh, that is, uh. Didn't even make it one session without <laughs> PvP. Look at that on the wound. She offended me. What did she expect? She 
seen so, you better. Mitch, I need you to make a vigor roll because Natalia is, it's not going to be a wound. It'll be a level of fatigue. Uh, yeah, you start talking about, oh, I don't have an opinion all of a sudden. Then you realize like Natalia's whole face just locks the fuck up and she just starts burning holes in you. Uh, success. Okay, so uh, Natalia brings her sword down and Midge, you, you manage to just kind of sidestep it. That blade, the flat of the blade comes slamming down on top of that pedestal. And, you know, you can still see where she's burning a hole in you, but Natalia, you kind of feel like, okay, you know, you understand that Midge has now gone completely silent and is just, you know, what do you two want to do? How to resolve this now? I'm going to hit her again until she apologizes. Natalia, I'm going to apologize. I am I champion and the guardian. Thinking. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a champion and a guardian. You, you know, I'm going to judge her. I'm going to look at her. Oh, no. And I'm going to say, you should know better than to start uh, should I, raiding. Should I know better? Hmm. Oh, you're raiding and attacking a guardian who's chosen by the gods. That's oh, it. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Your heart out. And I'll attack. Now listen. I am going to take out my 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 violin, my fiddle. No, wait, I Natalia, <laughs> Mitch, Natalia, listen. Uh, oh she's a toddler. <laughs> Everyone, please relax. We need. I will once she apologizes. Oh, you ain't getting one. You ain't... <laughs> I'm. I'm going to use my power of fear. Hold on, my headphones oh. powered up. Okay, yeah. Okay, now I can hear. What? So that's going to be... Uh, oh, wait, I oh, can't shit. hear. Hold on. Oh, my God. Well, we'll just keep adventuring without her. Uh, anyway, we go through the bottom door. <laughs> <laughs> are you just... Are you just... Um, this is... Uh, what kind of template are you throwing down with this, uh, Ray Kona? Uh, I want... <laughs> um, I want to target Natalia, if possible. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure how I uh, didn't see the, the range Yeah, because you can, well, you're just going to target her directly. Um, so, yeah, you just roll your uh, roll your spell casting roll on it, and um, she'll just have to, uh, she'll have to make a fair check if you're successful. This is phenomenal. <laughs> That's a success with a raise. Is Natalia capable of hearing us now, or is she still... Okay, uh... I just fixed it. Sorry, I couldn't hear anything. Okay. What and... happened? Natalia. Yes. Uh, first off, you are slapping the flat of the blade. Uh, Midge, that is going to... Do you want to try to uh, soak that in, Midge? Because she is going to make contact with you. Yeah. It'll leave you... Okay, make the vigor roll. And I'll get to you in a second, Rick Kona. All right. Oh, Jesus, Mitch, nice. <sighs> Again, three foot versus tall bitch. Not happening. <laughs> just just not happening. Rick Kona, what does it look like when you use your power? And again, do you name your power? And then what are, yes. the, what are the trappings? Um, so the... He... The, the spell is um, the call of my madness unleashed. Mm -hmm. I guess to the rest of the party, they just see smoke pouring out of the book, sort of covering his face. But Natalia will see this like skeletal face with sunken in eyes and he'll turn to her. That is enough. <laughs> Natalia. Because you got a raise, you're at a negative two to the spirit check, but you're a wild card, so you get a plus two to the skill check. So you're evened out. I just need you to roll spirit, Natalia. Okay. Um, do I have a... Yeah. <laughs> that is a success. So. I have a question. Yes. Before we, we go further. Before you kill each other. <laughs> uh, what does it mean to be affected? <clears throat> what does it mean to be what? What does my card mean? Oh, uh, you mean your adventure card? Yes. 
All right, let me give me a second and I will hop on over there and read it. All right. So Natalia, you're unaffected by what just happened to you, but you do, you're not stupid. You do realize that Raycona just, you know, he did the whole, you know, he got all Gandalf on you. <laughs> see your card real fast. Where are you? I use, uh, I guess my question is, can I use this to make it work? Uh, that is, so normally that's played if you were like fighting like a, like a creature that required like say magic, you would use it against that and then your attacks would, or your, your actions, sorry, would, uh, be able to take effect if they had any invulnerabilities or immunities. Okay, gotcha. All right, I'll hang on. Yeah, I don't think she has anything that you need to overcome. And didn't you? Except for, well, hin her hindrances. Her hindrances. To be fair, it's a pretty fucking horrific hindrance. Well, I mean, I was not the one to choose it. I was giving it. So. That's a true statement. That is a true statement. I did burden you with this, but it fits your character. How oh my could god! You something. <laughs> I was just knowing my your table. <laughs> ah, it, it kind of makes it funny. <laughs> oh god! Alistair's just face palming during all of this. Okay, are you going to apologize? Or do nope. I need to beat you to a pulp? Oh I will apologize for her. <laughs> I am... Recon, sorry. allow me. I, I know Natalia very well. Natalia, listen to me. You are a guardian. You are a champion. You are so far above us, and me just but a toddler. Do you really value the apology of a toddler? Think about it. It would be useless to... It's an insult to be apologized to by Mitch. <laughs> Really? That is really? true. She is nothing but a cockroach. Oh, but I will very make much sure so. to but I, I will make sure so. to I will make sure to get her heart out and stab to death before this is all done. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yes, but perhaps let her expire of natural causes. And then you can give up her heart, and she'll have been useful in the meantime, and all of that chess. Uh, in the meantime, remember, she is tiny. She's a toddler. You are amazing and strong and a champion and uh, there's no need to strike a child. So, in her words, I, on wind. Okay. Silence, Beach. You're a cockroach. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's the hindrances. I understand, Mitch. So, are, can we know what it is now that it has happened? <laughs> you know, oh, Midge, because I you're feel like pretty... her and I, we're going to be at this a lot. <laughs> yes, Midge, your your whole job is to read people, right? You're basically a, a spy. If you had to put your finger on it, you would say that Natalia is extremely thin skinned. <sighs> and I would say I'm very powerful, not afraid to kill you. I am also overconfident, and I you never back down from a challenge, and I have a huge mouth. So <laughs> there's going to be problems. Oh, yeah. yeah. I told you it's going to be exciting. <laughs> you are a cockroach, bitch. Cockroach. Cockroach. <laughs> I am going to bite Ballister's tail. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> worth it. Worth it. I don't, I don't think that's the first time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he pays for that, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Shh, how do we move on? I he did say bitch for a reason. Good half day. <laughs> how about uh, Falister and Natalia? You take the lead. Me and Midge will hang back. I'll take that, <laughs> I'll take that light back. Oh, my tail. So bad. <laughs> yeah, call me a cockroach again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thanking me, I say under my breath. And then I'm going to uh, quickly usher Natalia down the, I've decided, the north set of stairs. I'm just going to make a call. North set of stairs. Easy right. enough. And I Mitch, believe I have. Would you I... like to, uh, would you like me to take a look at that? Take a look at what? Did I get hit? Well, I. Uh... <laughs> Uh, it looks no, like you she... managed to shake everything off. She, yeah, she's she like, she's the broadside of a barn. Oh, Midge, goddammit. 
Is that what she really we, said? We we are decidedly a couple of you. I have already decided. moved you down the hallway, Natalia. <laughs> <laughs> well, did I hear that? <laughs> Uh, okay. No Zaku boy, blessing on mage to plot your vengeance carefully. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. this, I kind of come in like a halfling wrecking ball here. This is not going to be careful. So did Falister extinguish his light? He gave no. it to uh, Raycona because Raycona oh. wants it back. No, Raycona was asking for my light. Oh, I, no, I was taking Falister's. Yes. <laughs> The Seriously, man. you don't oh, have God. another light. Well, she's in the. She's in where? Yeah, I don't, where am I? <laughs> yeah, you're in. Um. Okay. All right. Well, I I have the light now, so he has I'll, light. I'll keep right. it. Okay, He's Natalia done. has light. That's fine. I'll just travel with Natalia. All right. Yeah. Natalia going north. <laughs> well, you uh, you see in the dark, Falister. Do you not? You have dark vision. Oh, that's true. I was more worried about Natalia, but she has a light. Oh. So. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> that sounds fair. You guys take the south, we'll take the north. Good luck. Oh my god. All right, this is interesting. Wait. So, so hang on. Go ahead. Who's going Good where? Guess. You're it, going south he, with a pacifist. Ballister and I are going north. He's not a pacifist. He is a pacifist. <laughs> is he really? Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> He is a pacifist. Whatever Weren't you, you paying God, attention to the last time we were fighting? He I... said he didn't want to fight anybody. There's some non was hiding. Non fans I... of Sev's. <laughs> I don't remember this. <laughs> he is I'm he is definitely a pacifist. Mild mannered, not a pat. I didn't take the pacifist one. Oh, I thought you took the pacifist. Oh, see, no, I... mild mannered. He he uh... tries to solve it without fighting, but um oh. He didn't even really want to cast fear on Natalia. He just wanted the fighting to stop. Uh, uh, do right. north, Natalia. You and I. Yep. All right. we'll so I'm, I'm now kind of clutching Rakona's pant leg. This, this is going to be amazing because this is actually <laughs> built for this. So. Uh oh. We, <laughs> Down we, we go. are very squishy. <laughs> I'm okay. Low on power points. We're going to. You are running low on power points. Remember, for a Benny, you can bring back five power points. No, oh, we'll do that right now. Then, here you go. Boop. <laughs> <Most of it. laughs> Fantastic. So, the stairs de descend uh, about a good 30, 40 feet into the earth, uh, deeper underground, Midge, further into the darkness and the peril, and both of them. For your groups and in doors that are ornately carved there are hieroglyphs and again it's it's the it's the typical frescoes of here's who i am i'm not happy i was awesome in life uh yada 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 the difference on these are is that for falister and natalia falister do you want to try for some ancient osirian because there's something a little off about these and Midge and Rikona, the same thing down here. These aren't quite the usual, like, oh, 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 I'm, I'm Akintepi, I was too cool for school. There's a little bit more information along the the, the hieroglyphs on this door. Okay, oh, I'll make it. The doors. Smarts roll if you want to do the ancient Osirian. Yeah. Alrighty. What does it say, my friend? She's trying. I'm working on it. <laughs> Are you good with that? It's a success. <laughs> the way you say it makes me suspicious what? every time. I cause you're like, Are you good with that? Are you good with that? It's oh, another success. Cool. Well, I got the same thing, so we're gonna have to be okay with it. All right. And Felicia, you have a success as well. Are you good with that? Success is a success in my book. I agree. Midge, the hieroglyphs across this door indicate this is a preparation chamber. Falister, the hieroglyphs across your door indicate this is a repository. So when you say preparation, you mean for mummies, right? There's only one way to find out, Midge. 
if only you had gotten that raise. So it looks like they prep stuff here. <laughs> so here's a question for the chat. Can they see the split screen action? Because I don't know if... The... They can, but I don't want to look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah, please. if they can see both groups, that's perfect. This is working out perfect. <laughs> All right. I will go with Midge and Raycona first. What do you two want to do? I think we should keep going. Okay, I just um, not too fast. <laughs> no, no, of course. <laughs> so are well, we opening the door? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The light begins to spill into the chamber ahead of you, and the floor becomes a much more polished uh, flagstone, not quite as rough. Uh, actual care is taking care of it. Falister, Natalia, what are we doing? This is very interesting, Natalia. The ancient Assyrian says this is a cursed resting place. It could be dangerous. <laughs> Perhaps I should go ahead to make sure that a champion such as yourself is not felled when we need you the most. Okay, just remember what we were told. We have to honor what has passed and honor the departed. So, if you see any dead bodies, leave take, them alone. I'm a very honorable soul. You know this, Natalia. I take promise it, you, take I, will touch, you. I will touch nothing that I should not. Jesus. <laughs> Are we going to open the door? So you just stay here, and I will let you know when the coast is clear. Champion. How about I follow you from behind? make sure you don't die. What if you get cursed? I could never live with myself. And Midge, uh, maybe I shouldn't mention Midge, uh, Rekona needs you. <laughs> I don't know are you, about are you, that. Are you, are you, are you? <laughs> yeah, why don't you, what, before you open the door, why don't you check for traps? Oh, I already looked at this door. This door is not trapped. Okay, I looked at the same time as I was it. reading the ancient Osiria. Okay, well, open the door and I'll follow from far away. Uh, I mean, that is not a very good big idea. chamber. <laughs> I would say uh, you stay right here on these stairs and then I will clear the way every 30 feet or so. I open the door. <laughs> I'll move her back and then you want to open the door. As what little light spills forward, it doesn't really do much for you, but your native born dark vision can see straight into this room and the first thing that catches your eye is a okay. golden war chariot sitting in the middle of this gigantic chamber there are precious animal skins of a variety of hyper predators very prized uh prey animals there are shields put up against the wall that appear to be attached to it there are tapestries and there's a massive white chest that is bound in brass and potentially gold sitting right in the corner there from the door. And then you see the hallway extends onward. There is more to this repository than is first indicated. Oh, Calistria, I love you. Uh, Natalia, <laughs> you stay right here. Uh, I can tell that a lot of these things are trapped. I'm going to go through and disable them. And I will tell you when to approach. I want you to be safe. Uh, your eminence. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll stay. Oh, I can't move. I was gonna... Where do you want to go, Natalia? I was gonna move. You gonna post up? Go ahead. So you're gonna post... So Natalia's starting to move forward. Uh, Falister, which means her torchlight is going to push forward. Natalia, you, you should be... stay a little further back. Your torchlight could set up a trap. I can see that some of these things <laughs> no, have uh, it's optical. Not. I'm gonna move one. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, you can stay right there. I will look at the rest. I assure you, I will keep you safe. So, Natalia, you do hear what I described. There is a massive golden war chariot. The room is filled with riches. There is a, a bound chest. I'll hit pause again. Back to the other two. 
Midge, Raycona, the door is open. What do you want to do? So do you want to uh, maybe peruse this for traps? Me? Oh, I can. <laughs> I can do it. I was just wondering if we both would. But, uh, uh, okay, what, what skill does that take? Uh, to look for traps is notice. I'll do it as well. Which, yeah, we'll both roll notice. <clears throat> So you can support one another. Uh, well, you, one of you can support the other one. I cannot. <laughs> well, that's a, that's an issue. Uh -oh. All right. I got something for that. Ooh. Oh, Midge. Boy. All right. So, Midge, are you? Go, you two can go ahead and Midge uh, throw yourselves kind of where you're going in this place. Uh, Rakona no. as well, and I will let you know. You can move a little bit at a time. No. Well, Rakona just rushes in. And Rikona, there are statues of some kind of woman uh, here and here. The doors are thrown wide open uh, to both the west and the east. However, uh, Midge, you're looking around, and Rikona is just like, "Oh, I'm going in." And <laughs> you're just, Midge, you're, you're you're cautious enough where there's there's no there's nothing you can see that's out of the sorts, but Rikona. For that critical failure, we're going to punish you a little bit. I figured. <laughs> so something catches your eye, and your ability to detect magical auras begins to simply ignite. And all along this back wall here is a massive mirror. And you see yourself in the mirror. You do not see Midge, but what you do see is the man that you have seen from the moment you saw the entrance to his tomb, and you can see Akintepi in all his resplendent glory standing behind you with his hand resting on your shoulder. And you find yourself standing almost nose to nose with that mirror. And Midge, I will not forget, I will put you there, yes. Let's pause again. Falister, Natalia, what are we doing? Why don't you uh, open this... some of these chests to see what type of gold there is? Of course, but you, as I said, <laughs> it's probably trapped. You should step just a little bit back. I, Natalia, Natalia are you opening the chest? Natalia, we no. have gone back. No, I'm telling the you, devil to open the chest. And you know that you and I, we have a special arrangement, so I would not trick you. I am just going to open the chest and make sure it's safe for you. Because, after all, if something comes crawling out from the darkness, I'll need you to crush it. If you are dead, I am dead too. This is, this is a no-win scenario. Well, that is true. I am the strongest person the strongest. here. The, and I'm definitely mightiest. the guardian. Oh, you are the so... guardian and the champion. <laughs> yes, yes. I can, I can see this. All right. Devil, spawn. Go ahead. Oh my God! Open the Thank chest. you, uh, Your Grace. I'm going to try to open this chest. All right. So uh, that's my hindrance, though. He's playing to my hindrance. <laughs> my God, the chest is not locked. You can open it. The chest is beautiful. This is some kind of. It's it's like an inlay of ivory and gold. The, the chest is incredibly valuable, Falister. Just you being a rogue, that is a that is a that's an easy instinct on you. You know this. The whole the damn box is worth money. But it is unlocked, and you're gonna you want to open it up. Inner monologue. Oh, Calistria, if ever I could make a lie sell, please let it be now. Out of inner monologue. Uh, Natalia, this chest might be trapped with some sort of blinding mechanism. Uh, close your eyes until I have it open and make sure it is safe. I'm pretty sure I can take it. Just open the fucking chest. Damn it. I, uh, yes, of course. Uh, you are brave, <laughs> champion. I will open the chest begrudgingly. Open the chest, and as the lid cracks but an inch, you hear, zing, zing, zing. I, I need an athletics at negative three. Whew. You can use Damn the better it. roll trait modifiers down below and just uh, click on the negative two and the negative one for your uh, athletics. You have distracted me. <laughs> Uh, negative two and negative three? Negative two, negative, negative one. one. Sorry, yeah, take it to the negative three. Calista, protect me. Oh, 
Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that is what you get for following Calistia. Hmm. Well. Well, there's always that. <laughs> Falister, you feel uh, against your wrists. Uh, it, to be fair, the blades didn't go up the highway. They went across the street. Um, but there are multiple, multiple lacerations that open up on your wrists, the palms of your hands, uh, coming down your arms as you kind of do the panic of, oh, shit, and it's just blades. And with that last brief moment when you realize I'm in trouble, you realize there is a black gooey oily substance that is leaking from every single wound is he wounded we're gonna get to what he is in a second (laughs) (laughs) do you want him to be wounded is that what we're looking at i want him to be wounded for a really good reason we're gonna get we're, we're this is this is part of the action you're gonna like it you're gonna like it though Alice. you're gonna like this but first we're gonna go back And we're going to go down to our other friends. Midge, Rakona, what are we doing? Rakona is holding. looking at a guy in a mirror. <laughs> well, Rakona's standing there looking at a mirror and he can see himself. Uh, Midge, you can see mm. yourself. You're just like, oh, hey. I'm hey, like buddy. <laughs> wave to Op and Tepe. Can you There's hear me? There's a knock. Yes. <laughs> Mitch. <laughs> Take a penny, Mitch. Thank you, Mitch. Huh. Is there I'm wondering what secrets you might hold for us? What things could you teach me? Teach you? Ah. Uh... The arm remains on your shoulder, and one hand points towards the door this way? And then his head looks to this door. Hmm. His arm points and his head looks the other way. Yep. This is a good point. Is she tall enough to see the mirror? No. <laughs> Giant mirror. It's not like it's like it's not like a a, a shape. I can mirror. look a, around it's a, it's a full, him. It's like I... Yeah, it's a full length mirror. <laughs> Excuse my excuse my lack of description. No, but I mean it was like a question from the chat. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's a fair question. Yes, it's a it's a Florida it's a Florida ceiling mirror. But his head looks at the other door. Interesting. Hmm. Are you describing any of this to me? No, Rakona is like locked in with this. What you can teach me is over okay. there. But what you can show me is over there. I'll go to where you can teach me. Right. <laughs> you all right, buddy? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I'm fine. So, uh... I'll, uh, I'll head to look through this door. All right, you're heading that way. Midge, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I want to get that on pause. It. Well, I am most definitely going with him. Oh, that's right. Oh, no. Oh, okay. As you step into just the opening of the door, you realize that the, this chamber was at one time, uh, it, it looks like it was had been constructed. Um, you're not really sure what it was meant for. Um, however, it is strewn with debris, and there is a, for you, Raycona, an ankle deep or maybe a little bit higher than ankle deep layer of sand that just covers this place, likely from the cave in. There are rocks, there are co- support columns, many things have caved in in this area. Could I get an idea of what this room once was? Uh, yeah, let's have, let's have, man, let's have an academics. <laughs> Aced. All right, success with a raise. Are you happy with that? Yeah. All yeah. right. So this looks like it would have been some sort of honorific procession um, path, um, like columned out, probably highly decorated, but likely where you would have carried someone uh, further into a tomb. 
Okay. I'm going to go over to this door and see what he can show me. All right. Are you gazing at the mirror to make sure your buddy's yeah. with you? Or? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, as you walk, he walks with you um, almost as if he's stalking like a predatory cat. In here, I say, looking at the mirror. Raycona, I need a vigor roll at a negative two, please. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> that is probably not your best one. At a negative two, you said? At a negative two, you can use those little buttons at the bottom. Buttons at the bottom. Yeah, that has the trait roll modifiers. Yep, yep. Or you I'm already just... at a negative one. Okay. Let's uh want to Benny that? Let's Benny that. <laughs> Do you want to Benny that? The dice have spoken. <laughs> the dice have spoken. So as you look and you ask the question again, he turns and stares at you. Mati Midge. There is smoke erupts from Rakona's forehead as an ancient hieroglyph is etched in flames across his forehead. Rakona, you see this clearly reflected in the mirror as the image of Akintepi fades. Back to Falister and Natalia. Falister, before we deal with this, I need to deal with the damage that you take from the blades. All right, what is your toughness? Very. <laughs> uh, I think it's seven. Seven? Okay. There's a seven and go. there's a two. I'm not sure which one's the one I'm supposed to pick. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spin that, Benny. And I'm going to roll that again. This is chat gets its wish. <laughs> They're all going to die? Yep, looking that way. Oh, God. <laughs> what was your toughness again? Seven? Yeah. All right, seven. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right, that gives me a raise. So um, uh, that is going to make it a wound. Uh, you can make the vigor roll to soak the wound if you would like, which I assume you do. Oof. <laughs> Success it is. Uh, so the blades come back. They sting really goddamn bad, but they're a little janky, a little rusty. And you can, while you feel the slight sting of poison begin to work its way through you, um, the fact that uh -huh. you managed to soak all of that, you, you can pull back and you realize you came a hair's breadth from meeting your end. Yeah, However, there's the chest, stuff in my wounds. The chest is open, and the chest is full. Full of what? <laughs> there are multiple glass vials sitting in here. There are gold-plated books. There are papyrus scrolls uh, still rolled up. Uh, and on top of that, there are just little sacks, leather sacks. Um, maybe like coin purses. So I was about to like go on a rampage uh, verbally about how she distracted me and look what happens when she rushes me. Yes. Then I catch eye of everything in the chest and I yes. immediately forget that I'm even remotely injured. <laughs> um, and I immediately grab for the pouch because that uh, looks like it's got some jingle jangle in it. <laughs> in fact, it does have jingle jangle in it. Are there more than, is there more than one pouch? There's two pouches, uh, both similar size, and then again the books, the scrolls, uh, and then the, the the glass files themselves. Okay. I jingle both I'll pouches. Take, okay, I'll take the scrolls and the vials. Then. The scrolls it, and the it vials. Sounds like it's uh. And the book. There's three vials, uh, Natalia. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. The, the bag the sounds like they're ceremonial bones. Uh, probably not of interest to you. Oh my god. I, I talked about his wife. So what are the three vials? Uh, say they, all three vials bear liquids. 
Uh, one vial is like a sort of a, a light fuchsia color. Um, there's one that's a little darker than that, but you might imagine that it may have matched it at some point in time. Um, and then the other one is just a crystal clear liquid. Okay. And the scrolls? The scrolls, uh, if you look at the first one, and they seem to be, it's accounting. A lot of this, it's a lot of stock and what my military campaigns were as the great Akintepe, uh, my repository, my wishes in death, little things like that. Oh, and I won't take the scrolls. What about the, the golden books? I have the golden books. Don't worry. They could be trapped. I have heard of this. You opened it in the same Okay, room. then you then you'll give me one of the bags and you can get the books. You said you wanted the books. Here. Take a look. Yeah, I'll grab the golden books then. You grab the golden books. Now the golden books are a little heavy. I'll add them to your character, but I don't think you're anywhere close to being No. No, you're nowhere close. No, you're you're fine. You're fine. So two of you have a, a modest amount of goods, um, apparently a, two bags of bones, and then some books, some papers, and some glass vials with liquids inside of them. That's Felicia, there's nothing else in you, what, <laughs> That is fair. What do you two want to do? Um, that can't be it. This is a beautiful chest. Who would just put books and scrolls? There's got to be more. Uh, is there a first bottom or something? Oh, uh, so this is pretty straightforward for you. You're kind of poking around. Uh, not a false bottom. It's a real chest. Um, but again, the chest itself is its massive. But again, the chest uh, with your roguish eyes is also worth quite a bit of money. Um, How heavy is the chest? Uh, so you're looking at probably maybe 15, 20 pounds. It'll be an effort to get it up, but... It's kind of part of the deal of, you know, being allowed to loot these tombs if you bring back anything of anything of value relic wise or from the history of Osirion that you can sell to the to the merchants in the city. Uh, why do you think we carry this upstairs? Uh, we just leave this here. Uh, this would just be taken by the city. And quite frankly, what's theirs <laughs> is not mine. So uh, let's try to find smaller things, things we can pocket and hide. Fantastic. I'm going to unpause it, and you two can move about the room if you wish. Perfect. What's over here? Uh, again, these are tapestries, and they depict uh, the battle glories. They depict uh, Akintepe's life. This is a lot of military stuff. Like I said, Boring. there are shields here. There's Boring. animal skins, crocodiles. Uh, very, very rare. Like, animals that shouldn't even be in Osirian. Animals you don't even know what the hell they are because you're from here, and you're like, I don't know what the hell kind of animal this is. We don't have these in Osirian. Um, but yeah, that's that's just kind of what it is. What what it is. Are there any cats? <laughs> there are no cats in this room. No. Oh, that's is cool. there are there any other chests, or is it that was that the only one? That is the only chest that is in this room, and then in the golden chariot. Where's oh. the golden chariot? It's what back is here. this? So, Falister, let me hit pause. And we will talk about what that is. So, Ballister, this is the greatest thing you have seen in a long time. There is a three-dimensional diorama that is on top of that table. And it is done what looks like completely in pure gold, or at least gilded. It is this massive battle scene. It has chariots. It has tiny little figures. It has everything. It's so cool and precious. There are gems for eyes. There are tiny little spears. There are little bows. Um, this is like this is like an Akintepe nerd moment where it's like, oh my god, did he actually be able to move these little things around? There's a set of golden dice laying on the table right in the middle of it. Against this wall here, there are, sorry, there are three shields and a, the cursory glances, uh, the two shields to the left and right, they're kind of uh, very standard old Assyrian, like very old warfare, uh, kind of a wicker weave. But the one in the middle is, has a bluish green sheen to it. And it actually is shaped 
in an odd but kind of familiar shape. It's just a little hard to make out because it is sitting behind uh, what is essentially a, another chest. And then there are urns, there are weapon racks to the south. Uh, there is there is a lot going on in this room. And we're going to go back to uh, the bard and the wizard. So you that's words, more weird than you usually are. <laughs> you can see the symbol, yes. <clears throat> what does it say? Uh, would I know what that symbol is? It is Ancient Assyrian. You can make that roll and take a plus two. Okay. This is, this is smart, yeah. Yeah, smart. Does it have a magical aura to it? Oh, how do I make it, it plus two? Uh, you can hit the little button down below. It says trait wall modifiers and plus two. It does have a magical aura to it. I'll do the eye thing where I roll it back into my head again. Oh, go ahead and uh, roll your spell casting and add the plus one PowerPoint for identify. All right. Uh, Midge, are you gonna Benny that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's a success. Okay. And then, ooh, huh. do you wanna, I assume you're betting that. Oh, nice. Yeah, very Thanks. good. There we go. Okay, I have a question, which we probably should have discussed ahead of time. What is our stopping point? Right about now. Wanna, right about now, good. Perfect natural cliffhangers. Raycona, as you cast your spell, and Midge is sort of mumbling through it. You cast your power, you stretch out, your eyes roll back, and you realize you have been cursed. And that's when Midge, your lips out loud, you read the word thief. Natalia and Falister, as you are fucking about this room, all of those dolls begin to swarm down from the table and they begin to surround you. You and are booted. This is what they look like. There are these tiny little dolls in a massive swarm with razor sharp spears. And we'll pick up again next week. Oh Where's my shit? goodness. <laughs> Damn. I, have been I blame <laughs> Mitch. Man. <laughs> what a session. <laughs> so there's Savage Worlds. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep, this is Mitch's fault. 100%. <laughs> it is. We, hop over we didn't TPK immediately. <laughs> <laughs> there's still time. There's still time. <laughs> Well, the awesome thing, Midge, is that we are not fighting those things. I just might be cursed. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got a lot of bigger problems to worry about. Oh, <laughs> oh <good>. dear goodness. <laughs> They're just tiny dolls. I'm sure Natalia can take care of them for me. <laughs> tiny dolls. What's the worst that could happen with a swarm? <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, hey, look. Well, I guess you guys can't see it, but on our uh, our overlay... Um, Oh. Rikona's friend is on the uh, on the pedestal with the mask. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh. that's awesome. Nice. I gotta Amazing. pull that scorpion for you and give you ownership of it at this point because you're locked in now. Awesome. <laughs> Jesus, that was clever. Thank scorpion you. romance. <laughs> Jesus. I'm just saying, <laughs> Jimmy fetish dolls. It's pretty accurate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Mom. Well, so there you go. Cool stuff. Thank you, thank you. Awesome. It was uh, very fun. I thought maybe we were going to watch Natalia murder the entire party, but it is what it is. <laughs> I, I was going to keep I was going to keep hitting her until she died. I know. I and know. Then, and then uh and then Aruda appealed to her arrogance and uh <laughs> and uh sense of being superior to everything. It's like so an she was, infinite she was loop if you don't stop die. it. Well, she was definitely gonna die because I would have gone uh, a plus two to damage, a plus two to hit her because I don't. 
<laughs> and I have a great sword, and I think you guys remember how much damage I can cause. Didn't you say that? But she was pulling out her violin. Who knows what could have happened to you? She could have, like, shrunk you. <laughs> why are you bullshitting? The last thing you want is Midge to get a hold of your ass with her, her perform powers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, uh, oh Mid, Noelle's like box it. is not different. Noelle's box is her her camera's just floating because I'm dumb. Um, uh, <laughs> those those words all together a little. Yeah, off. that was a wild sentence. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty sure. Pretty, just, it's, it's, you knew what I meant. Uh, yeah. Actually, I, I got to figure out what really I did really there, but um, time. yeah, it, it's my fault. It is what it is. James is not wrong. You split the party on day one, um, but I planned for that. So, <laughs> oh, God. I'm actually glad it worked out that they could see everything. That's good. Yeah. That was awesome. Oh, cool. man. Um, so, Scott, tell them what yes. you're up to, what you're doing, and then tag who you like, and guys, just leave me for last. Oh, okay. Easy enough. Um, yeah, the Kickstarter for my Black Sun Dawning setting just ended. Uh, totally funded. It's a it's for Savage Worlds. It's a um, sci-fi fantasy setting in the purest sense. It uses magic instead of technology um, and all that. It's, it should be coming out and releasing probably later in September and October. And aside from that, I'm working on uh, a little side project of a, a rules light game system that puts um, – then we'll focus on what the players really want to have happen versus having a rule book tell you how to imaginate. Uh, and that's it. Um, Caleb. Hey, I, you can find me everywhere at Leylines Band, or um, it might, you can find my other project, Fire Said the Albatross, at Fire Said the Albatross on pretty much everything. Next week, Saturday, in Grand Rapids, Michigan, at the Pyramid Scheme at uh, 7 p.m., my band is playing. So if anyone is out there in that area, if you come up and say, uh, Aruda is the phallus man. I'll buy you a drink. Nice. That's <laughs> a bullshit bribe. <laughs> and I tag Sevi. Um, hi, everyone. So my name is Sevi. As you know, uh, I will... My best way to get in touch with me would be in Instagram. I usually put a bunch of really weird pictures. Um, and also, I'm going to link my Twitch. Um, I generally stream uh, Mondays. Uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, um, then Saturdays and Sundays. I'm here in this uh, YouTube channel on Thursdays playing Junkyard Heroes and um, Fridays doing Mummy's Mask. So I hope that you can come and watch Junkyard Heroes as well when my character is not so evil in game. <laughs> <laughs> what do you tag? Oh, um... <laughs> I will tag Noelle. Okay. So I'm Noelle. I'm the Pathfinder content creator uh, on Geeks and Gamers Tabletop. And I'm definitely sure this time that we have more content coming. We're going to have more <laughs> how to play videos and lore videos, mechanic videos. So those are on the way. And Aruda. Yes, absolutely. I finally did edit them. So they are scheduled and they are coming. Um, but uh, also, I think there's some more coming from Scott. So that'd be fun too. Um, but yes, I'm Arudai. You can find me here um, three times a week at least. Uh, you can find me Thursday afternoons at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Secrets of the Frost Maiden. You can find me on Junkyard Heroes at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time the same day. And on Fridays, we will now be doing this at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I really hope that you guys had a good time. Uh, I did. I don't get to be a player very often. Uh, so it's it's a little unnerving, but also a lot of fun to not have the reins and... Um, <laughs> Yeah, and uh, let me guys, you know, let me know what you guys thought about the format. Anything you saw, things you might have on a wish list. Uh, Scott's really good at this whole foundry thing, so there might be things he can figure out and do for you guys. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, let me know what you thought of the intro video too. Uh, we we got that done by the seat of our pants, and uh, I, I was pretty happy with it. But uh, I'd love to know what you guys thought. Um, I'll stay after just this once to do a uh, super chat thing. I might not be able to do it every single time because I do have a professional game after this, which, by the way, if you'd like to play with me, roll some dice. I do do some professional games. Just check out my listings. Uh, it keeps popping up in the link. It's also in the description of the video. Uh, is there anything else I need to throw out there? Yeah, if you do artwork for the show, it could end up in the credits, so uh, feel free to do that. Um, if you'd like to draw any of the crazy things that you saw happen today, perhaps if you want to see Rakona, you know, seducing a scorpion or something like that, you could draw that. That'd be pretty cool. Um, and last but not least, Gilded, free. It's like Discord, um, except for 
not. Uh, it's an alternative version to it uh, that doesn't monitor your Twitter feeds and ban you if you don't think the same way they do. Uh, so come join us there. Uh, all the cast members are there, so you can talk to us there. Uh, you can also uh, talk with other people, find people who are playing various games, not just Pathfinder or D&D. There's people doing all sorts of stuff, Battletech, what have you, Warhammer. Um, and we'd love to see you there. It's a lot of fun. Um, other than that, uh, we're going to go to credits, but we will see you next time. And thanks for coming by. Hello, hello. Um, well, much to my and probably your surprise, um, they decided they wanted to hang out and listen to the Super Chats with us. So uh, I'll let them read chat and answer your questions while I try to pull this up. Oh, we got a last uh, minute uh, sub bomb there from Serenity 2 Witches. Five gifted geeks and gamers tabletops. Thank you, Ooh, Serenity 2 thank Witches. Thank you so You've much, Serenity. Extremely supportive. Um, yes, thank you, thank very, you. Very much appreciate you. All right, so let me pull up... The Super Chats. Uh, I know I complain about this every time, but I really wish they would also save the membership so I could go back and look at those, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. All right, you guys killed it tonight. Holy crap. So um, well, God, of course we're starting off strong. <sighs> Brian, for $100, I want Phallic Sir to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm sure uh, there's going to be plenty of suffering. Uh, there's little dolls surrounding me, and that's probably not going to be good. Um, no Zaku boy for twenty dollars. Blessing unto Phallixer. Get lucky. Amount uh, Amount Zaku has spoken. Uh, he thinks he's a god in chat now for some reason. I, I haven't figured this one out, but um, he, he believes that uh, he is our deity. So praise No Zaku boy, I guess. I'm going to add him into my gods. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, and then... Uh, wait. Did I skip one? No, okay. Frederick Landon for 200 sh- shekels, which was a uh, Benny for hashtag save Sevy. She didn't need saving. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. If anyone uh, missed, needs saving. But, uh, yeah. yeah, we need a saving from her. She's a, she's a terror. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, and then Brian, uh, for another $20, said, Benny for Midge, work smarter, not harder. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm not sure if he was saying that you were working smarter, not harder, or if he was encouraging you to maybe take that philosophy, but I'll let you decide. Um, it's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> you are very generous in your interpretation. So no, Zaku boy, again for twenty dollars. Blessing unto Phallic Sir oh, Jesus, this is never gonna die. Get like oh, wait, did I just read this one? Twice? Oh, okay, there's two here. The other one from No Zaku Boy says, Punish Natalia, a mound Zaku has spoken. <laughs> And then uh, Zachariah Nunez for $5. Killer intro. Well, thank you. Uh, I thought it was pretty slick. Uh, <laughs> literally got it last second. Uh, I showed it to the cast, I don't know, like an hour or two before stream. So uh, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. But uh, what did you guys think of it? Were you guys, were you guys pretty? Uh... Yeah, it was cool. Absolute yeah. chef's kiss. Yeah, I, don't, mm -hmm. I didn't really get to Beautiful. chat with you guys about it. So I like Aloha shirts. Oh, God. <laughs> um Janine, four dollars ninety nine cents. Jesus, if I wasn't such a drunk, I would have realized that Geeks and Gamers was actually a rude eye. I don't know what that means, but uh... <laughs> it does sound like someone's drunk. Uh, maybe yeah. you are drunk. I'm not sure, but uh, you know what? I think that was wise and uh, very well said. I, I will <laughs> eat that wisdom. Um, Frederick Lin. These are all like roasting my existence. Uh, Frederick Landon for f for fifty shekels. Reminder to Scott that doors don't open from the outside. <laughs> you know what? I, I could open this can of worms, but I'm not going to right now. I didn't um, write it. I, I know. I know you didn't I'm write not it. Finder. No, 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 no. So there's an ongoing thing from the Junkyard uh -huh. Hero stream where they wanted uh -oh. to go into a shuttle. Like a futuristic like space shuttle, like commercial yeah. line shuttle. And I said there was no door like handle on the outside. And they argued with me for like 30 minutes that it should have a door on the outside. Planes have handles on the outside of their doors, and it was just a big long they debate. Do. That they, like not they, opening they, this can of words. They, no, they, they don't. They have, to, do. they have to be able to like open up. I mean, like, they have there has to be a way to get inside this shit. You know, like I, I maybe it's not that door but there must be a way if you're outside to get inside the ship. It was too high. Anyways, we already had this debate, and I'm not going to I'm not going to reopen it. You're that's, that's what that was it about. It, I did bring Frederick because he's a jerk and wanted to hear this brought this up. Are you happy? Did you get your shekels worth, Frederick? <laughs> <laughs> Serenity to witches for $20. Uh, Benny to Caleb. He's selling his character like crazy. Yeah. yeah it's pretty solid. Serenity is so nice. Awesome. Serenity's MVP in my book right now. Yeah, very, very. Uh, he did a very good job of selling his character. He was so good at it that he's going to have scorpion babies. So that'll tell you something. <laughs> and I'm uh, cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Jadine for nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Here's to the Fed. Always fight the DM. Ooh. <laughs> See, I'm torn now because I like live in this limbo world of being a player and a DM. So uh, I, I don't know if I agree or disagree. Yeah. Punished here for your actions <laughs> elsewhere. Few know the horror. Right. Um, <laughs> yes, I, I will put the fight to Scott. Though I I know that's a losing battle. No Zaku boy for twenty dollars. <laughs> Benny to Scott. Punish Natalia. I'm on Zaku has spoken. <laughs> Thank you, this guy's doctor. really got it out for you. I can't remember what you said. There was something to do it, but uh, what did you say? Was, I don't do know. This? Just the monologue. <laughs> so she I said something decided. specific that triggered him, and he has been like, uh, uh, what was I, it? I don't know. Uh, was it the fact that she was chosen by the god? I think that's Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. you said you were the chosen one, and he immediately no. decided to show you that you're not. That's what it was. Zaku Casey, for $20. Okay. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Zaku has spoken. Ah, he has spoken. Yeah, he has spoken. Yeah. Uh, he's one of the players in my game, so I'll show him who has spoken here soon enough. Casey, for $20. <laughs> Actually, you're punishing Natalia, so I'm going to reward you. And the Fed for the DM. And then, yes, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 sir. No, sir. <laughs> we don't end the Fed here. Frederick Landon for 200 shekels. That's like 20 bucks, right? I think that's right. I hope I'm yeah. translating that right. A warlock yeah. defies the gods. So a Benny to Sevi. Mm. Ooh, it's insulting. Um, yeah. 
so we got people punishing and saving Sevi at the same time. Um, I just accidentally skipped too far. Aiden nice Bergen breath. for $20. A Benny to Sevi. Nozaku Boy, $20. Blessings on... Oh, I thought it was... I thought it was th oh, here it is. Jadine, here to Sevi. Please bother all the other players with a long-winded description. Don't in don't encourage that. Please don't encourage that. <laughs> I really... When I, we first started, I was like, God, why did I ask Sevi to go first? <laughs> yeah, <it's random. laughs> I was like, oh, awesome. Jesus. I have time to read my backstory. <laughs> yeah, I, I got time to do some I prep. I could have kept going. I could have kept going and have like a PowerPoint presentation and everything. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We'll, we'll do that. We should do this next time. We'll go around and do uh, our own like personal character descriptions. We probably should have done that. We'll do that next time. Though. Mm, sure. Um. I missed one. No Zaku boy for twenty dollars. Blessings unto Midge. No dying out the gate. A mound Zaku has spoken. Uh, <laughs> I mean, at least somebody has earned his good side, I guess. Frederick Landon for two hundred <laughs> shackles for Phallus. If he rolls it, I hated this one. If he rolls his endowment, if not, give it to the amazing DM. I should have just given it to the DM because that roll. I should have used a Benny on that. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I probably should have done. Oh well. Shadow Warden ninety nine for forty dollars. Two for the DM to make Phallic Devil's life harder. In quotation marks. <laughs> clever Shadow Warden ninety nine. Very clever. Um, but thank you for your generous uh, forty dollars. I do appreciate that. And I'm sure Scott appreciates the bennies as well. Yes. Um, Jadine for nineteen dollars ninety nine cents. This is to Scott, but only to use against Federudi. Only because he displeases me. <laughs> what did I ever do to Jadine? Jadine, what did I ever do to you? <laughs> I didn't use a Benny to re-roll. No, Tim Jones, because I didn't think about it at the time. Um, I'm not even sure Scott would have allowed it, but I, I definitely did not think of it. I'll let you waste all the Bennies you want on whatever you guys want. <sighs> well. It's just about pacing. <laughs> you know what? I'll have a talk with Arcona. I think I may have an idea to solve this problem. Hayden75 for $20. Can we get some kind of visual for how many bennies everyone has? Just so we know. Yeah. Benny to yes. Scott. I'm working on that. He is uh, he's working on a solution just for you, Hayden75. Thank you for yes. your generous continued support. Uh, Casey for $100. Thank you, Casey. Oh, never mind. And the thing. Bennies to Scott. <laughs> Damn. Um, <laughs> I take that back. And, I and tried. I, I'm trying. Then hopefully everyone is learning how powerful Benny's can be. You know, like I really, really wanted to murder you and drop lethal poison into your system, but here we are. Here we are. <laughs> I am very lucky in that respect. Uh, Hayden seventy five for fifty dollars. Scott, how much to give us a mimic somewhere randomly, of course, for the session? Never mind. I I, I didn't ask this question, <clears throat> but seriously. And the Fed shouldn't be able to read our plots. LOL. Well, I did, Hayden75, and I'm going to be checking everything for mimicry <laughs> from here on out. Um, actually, I already failed particularly at that, so. No Zaku Boy for $20. Benny to Scott. Punish Natalia. Amount Zaku has spoken. Wow. He has spoken. Wow. Oh no my Zaku... God, he hates me so much. No. no Zaku boy, twenty dollars. Blessings to Midge. Plot your vengeance carefully. Amount Zaku has spoken. You know what? I spoken. actually just realized. I thought maybe he liked Midge, but I'm realizing it's just more anti Sevi. It's more, yeah. yeah, on another front. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's a hundred percent anti me. I can tell you that he like just hates me with a passion, apparently. Oh my god. <laughs> Hayden75 for $20. Benny the Fed Rudai. Thank you, Hayden75. You're number one. You are number one, Hayden75. Just remember yeah. that. Um, I think that's all of them. I caught them up. Uh, I got the one that they just sent to us. And okay. uh, all of you that did the memberships killed it tonight. Thank you. Um, lots of new Thank green you. members out there with their little dragon icons. Uh, we're growing quite the little membership family. It's beautiful. You saw the new one by Jadine? No, I like did geeks not. And gamers, I... Like the Geeks and Gamers tabletop is actually a rude eye. Oh, okay. Let me look at that. Uh, 36 Fed Face. Screw you. Uh, no Zaku Boy. <laughs> um, there is. Zaku okay. Jadine, like the Geek and Gamers tabletop is actually a rude eye. 
Well, uh, okay. <laughs> Drunk or high, one of those. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, that's true. I, I am Geeks and Gamers Tabletop. Look at me in all of my glory. Um, no, all these beautiful people here are, oh are Geeks and Gamers Tabletop, and they're wonderful. And um, uh, very appreciative to have you all here. And these guys hung out for you a little afterwards. The other cats haven't done that, uh, so that's very kind of them to do that. Thank you for your extra time. Chat's the MVP. Yeah. None of this yeah. can happen yeah. without chat. Yeah, it's so, fun. I, I just love seeing what all of you do. And yeah, uh, you guys are oh, awesome. who has spoken. <laughs> oh my god. El said, tell the rude eye, nobody can see the thing that Dino is stomping on. It's too low on screen. I, yeah, nobody... It's just stomping. It's not stomping on anything. It's just... <laughs> it's just happy. It's happy. Um, happy. No, I actually really don't even like. I didn't mean to have that there. I have one that's like the logo, like um, blowing steam or something, or poofing in existence. But it's it only works for the donations. Um, I didn't really have an animation for everything else, so it just defaults to that T Rex for some reason. Um, but cool. The is just drunk, never high. <laughs> <laughs> just drunk, never high. Okay, that that's fair. That's fair. Uh, never high asshole. Okay, well, thank you for sanitizing <laughs> I, I that for it. me. Um, okay, I editorialized I, a little bit. <laughs> I, I appreciate your, your kindness there. Oh, shit! A hundred dollars from Serenity to Witches, miracle for players oh, for staying. Well, damn. Much love, Serenity. Serenity. I know. Uh, thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. Thank you. Own it. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, well, that was certainly yeah. worth uh, the extra 15 minutes we stayed shout here out, behind. Um, shout out. You guys got any last things yeah. to say to chat before I throw it back out to close the stream? Y'all are MVP, and I can't wait to see what you guys have next week. 100%. 100%. 100%. And just remember, the more bennies you give them, the less chances I can actually do the other things that you want me to do to them. I'm just saying. Oh, my God. Come on. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. All right, take it easy, chat. I'll see you next Thursday. Take it easy. <laughs> uh, why do I always boomer the end? I do it every time. <laughs> I'll just hold it. I'll just hold it for chat. Keep holding. Keep holding. There it is. End it. Okay.